Welcome, welcome. It is a surprise Monday night stream. Random bonus stream. Just felt like some hashtag America. Alex Jace, little hashtag America with American Truck Simulator. The long awaited, much anticipated, never delivered upon American Truck Simulator. Hello, Alex Jace. Hello, Alali Hernandez. Ka, Dark Litton. Hello to you. Adam Park. Hello. Nick C, it is a random ass time. Oh, Dark Litton. Oh wait, you said hashtag call. I said hi, but hello again. <laughs> it, it is random, Nick. Um, but that's the nature of bonus streams. Now I was, today I didn't get my work earlier in the day, so I started get toying with the idea of streaming, but I got wrapped up doing it other stuff, but it never quite left my head. Uh, I did get some work sent to me later, but it was, after my wife got home, so I'm not gonna start till tomorrow. But uh, so, but I was, I've been wanting to stream American Truck Simulator, and since it's stuck in my head and it's random, I felt like playing it tonight, and I decided to stream it. And I waited, I was waiting for CPG to stop his stream. So, which I was watching earlier, and then I went and watched Netflix for a while, and I just came back and noticed he wasn't streaming. So, uh. I decided it was I was clear for a go. I didn't want to be a dirty ass counter programmer. You know, I gotta pay fines and, and stuff when I do that. But anyways, for random. Sorry you've been gone for a long time. Oh you work night you work nights now. So you work Thursday nights? Okay, Alex is Alex is like, well I gotta go. I guess you're not excited by American truck simulator. That's okay. And thanks for making it in. You got that first comment, so Hashtag America to you, sir. Oh, call, okay, Stone. What's up, buddy? And uh, it is nice to see you, Allie. I'll have you know you're still alive in uh, in XCOM. I played XCOM a couple weeks ago. You're one of the uh, you're one of the what I call the end game survivors. So I think we're getting close to finally finishing that that game up. But uh, yeah, Thursday is still my regular night. But things are all up in the air recently. And I'm, I think I might still stream Thursday night, but uh, schedule's weird. My schedule's weird, so I wasn't positive on Thursday night. So I figured as long as I felt the will and uh, had the game I wanted to play and the will to stream tonight, I just set it up and make it happen. So that's what's happening. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and get in the game. Man, I don't even have a timer on this setup. My 10 minute warning timer, it's only three minutes in. But, uh, you know, we're just, I'm just playing this by the seat of my pants. Jumping right in. For, oh, there's my truck. Is the game gonna load up? There we go. As my, my lawyer plays live, special custom paint job from Ethan, who I wonder if he'll show up tonight. He's a busy man. He's a new father, married, all that good stuff. But he designed this this tr this uh, paint job. Lawyer plays live. Lawhawk Logistics. Here we go. So, uh... And, I think since I last played, I even... This is not going to play a major role, but I, I expanded my garage. And now I even have... I've hired an extra driver who's who's on the side making money for me. I don't think he's, you know, I think he's making enough to pay. I took a loan out for the truck for him to drive. And I think he's basically at this point making enough to pay off the truck. But it's going to be a long term uh, investment and in, in, that's uh, going to pay back in spades later on. <laughs> that face, that face in the corner, Adam. Yeah, they, you get to choose from a bunch of different pictures of people for the uh, for your profile. And I felt like this, this face up here most it, it most expressed how I feel as a truck driver so <laughs> yeah dark Litton, isn't that cool so whenever whenever I load this game up and I see the, all the lawyer plays live paint job it makes me it makes me very happy because what really happened is earlier I just decided to play this and when I saw all the lawyer plays live stuff that's what made me want to stream it tonight so anyways because I said I needed to play it before I streamed it again because I forgot the controls. So I'm still gonna suck, but at least I'm not gonna be relearning the game on stream. Because Brad Pritchard, who's not here, Br Brad's been asking 
constantly for me to stream this game. And, uh, I don't know. We maybe we can take bets on whether he actually shows up. I know he was in a CPG stream a little bit earlier. But you never know. You never know. Brad's not going to be looking for me tonight. So. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Right now. Where am I in the world? The game just released a... Uh, like in the last couple months, and the New, Me uh, New Mexico expansion, which I don't have yet, but I st I have the default Arizona, California, and Nevada, and it looks like I'm on the far end of Arizona right now. So let's see what we got in terms of jobs. Let's see where I should go. Was I in Holbrook, Arizona? Yeah. Let's see if we can find jobs leaving from Holbrook. We want to see you not park your own trailers again. Well, every time I will try to park it, but I'm not... I, I've practiced on my own a few times, and there's definitely some places where you need to park those trailers, which it won't matter. It doesn't matter how long I try, I will not get it in there. I just don't have the skills yet. At least I wouldn't not in one sitting be able to. If I practice this game all the time over the course of, you know, months, I'd be able to do it, but not tonight. Am I getting a Charizard raid? Is that what's happening over there? I remember Charizard. Charizard raided me a couple weeks ago, too. Awesome. Let me do the, uh, here. Let's do the welcome raider screen. Led by Jared Shelton, welcome raiders. To American Truck Simulator, Lawyer Plays Live. Lawhawk Logistics. Trucking from, what? California to Arizona since... Early, I think I've only had this game this... Did I get it last year or this year? Anyways, with over six months experience driving large trucks from one place to another, Lawhawk Logistics is your one-stop shop for moving one, moving shit from one place to another in a big-ass truck. I won't crash. I won't run off the road. Guaranteed. Wink. All right, welcome, Raiders. Welcome, Jared. RNG. There's Charizard, the man himself. Thank you for the raid, sir. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> That's very much appreciated. I'm playing... See, I like I like forging my own trail. How many people do you see streaming American Truck Simulator? So, true, I only have six people watching me. But I'm playing American Truck Simulator. Oh, wait, is that... Oh, hey. Hey, Evie. Welcome and good evening. It's great to see you. And hello, Org Chaos. God, how did you just did? Yeah, was it last year? It might have been last year, Jerry. Time flies, doesn't it? My goodness. If this is a simulator, when do you pick up some lot lizards? Well, we have to do a strict role playing on that. We could, uh, you know, that's the sort of thing at some point, if we get coordinated and organized, it would be good for, uh, to use Discord for. We get, we get somebody set up to play the role of the lot lizard, and I'll just pull into truck stops, and then we'll, and then I can pretend to be like haggling for a good deal negotiating with a pimp, you know, whatever. And maybe things turn south and it turns into a, you know, a, dr a drama and I have to, I have to peel the hell out of there. Or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's a chill game, you get out of conversation. That's right. Have you seen the game Elix? You think, I've heard of that. I'm not remembering it off the top of my head, but I'm, the, the title sounds familiar and the title sounds like something that I had earmarked in my brain as a game I need to keep an eye on. Hey, Keith, what's up, man? Welcome back. Long time no see. Not too long, but maybe a few weeks. My streaming schedule's been real weird, so it hasn't been that long. Uh, no or Chaos. I didn't get the uh, the expansion yet. So I'm, I'm going to wait for it to, to go on sale. I figure there's a lot of there's a lot of content in this game already that I can afford to wait for. I think the expansion actually currently costs more than I spent on the game itself. So, uh, I'm gonna wait for something to come out, like a sale, so it's if it's cheaper. I paid nine ninety nine for the game. If New Mexico, let me see, what's a good target? If I see New Mexico on sale for four ninety nine, that'll be the trigger. That's what I'll be looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, you do a great Komodo dragon hiss. Uh, oh wait, the musical road actually exists in game. Or chaos? I didn't know that. That's awesome. Uh, what was I doing? I need to get my job set up. 
I'm starting in Holbrook, Arizona. Maybe Bakersfield. That's that's a nice little haul right there. Uh, looking for the the price per mile. That's a good. But then that's not very long. You want a good balance of price per mile plus distance. Holbrook to, to San Francisco. That'll keep us going for a long time. Holbrook's a major, it's a major hub here. Uh, Holbrook to San Francisco, Holbrook to Carson City. Hmm. Oh no, that's Kingman. Okay, I think we're gonna do the, uh, oh, Holbrook to San Diego. I like that. Let's do Holbrook to San Diego. San Diego is where I grew up. That'll take us along this route here. Here we go. Let's see, I've not seen you since your birthday stream. Well, let me see. You know what, um, Keith? I think I've only had one stream between then and now. I'm pretty sure. Because I've been, I've only been streaming once every couple weeks. Because I've got real life shit happening. So, <laughs> so, but tonight I just felt like playing some American Truck Simulator. Thought I hit the, hit the stream button. Well, it's a little more complicated. I got to set up a bunch of stuff here before I, you know. But I decided I wanted to stream. We'll just put it like that. Uh, so yeah, let's do this job. Get on the road. I think I'm all fueled up. Last time, I, I played one little delivery earlier today to remind myself how to play the game. So, but yeah, my birthday was, I guess my birthday was exactly a month ago. So it's been, it was, let's see, or two weeks. Now I'm confused. I'm losing track of time. Uh. All right, let's do this. I don't need to rest. I'm gonna cheat. Because if I can cheat, why the hell not, right? No, it's November 19th. But I'm trying to I'm trying to track like when I've streamed because I no, I that's right because I didn't stream on my birthday. I streamed a few days before my birthday. So it was like I should have had since I just anyways, dates are confusing. Time is confusing. But hello Maxi. Look when I'm playing. It was time for bonus stream little Mar American truck simulator Merca. Merca. With La Hawk Logistics, your one-stop shop. There is Brad. Hot trucking action. You know I did it for you, Brad. Wait, where the hell am I going? That's... I thought I... Didn't I pick up that job? Or didn't I mark it? I was gonna go from Holbrook. Where is it? I wanted to go from Holbrook to, uh... To San Diego. Other than that, Holbrook. Maybe I'll end up going Holbrook to to San Francisco. Did that job disappear? I could have sworn. Okay, then we're gonna do uh, we'll do this one instead. It's gonna be a long drive to San Francisco. Hot trucking action, Ava. Good evening, welcome to my bonus stream. Watch out, trucks. I got this all under control. Can we go to New Mexico now? I heard it recently joined the United States. Uh, there is a... There's a licensing fee of... What is it, $14.99 to be able to drive in New Mexico? And I have not purchased... I have not purchased the license to drive in New Mexico yet, so... We'll be avoiding that. I, at least for now. Maybe if the license fee goes on sale, uh, I will, I'll pick it up and then I'll, we can go to New Mexico. But right now we're still limited to Arizona, California, and Nevada. I have no particular attachment to New Mexico. If they did like, uh, Oregon and if they added Oregon or Washington, those are states that I've lived in. So I might, I might be more attempted to fork out a full $14.99 or whatever, but what? So considering I only paid $9.99 for the game, uh, it makes me, it makes me not want to spend. A, hey, I've got a green arrow, you piece of shit! It's my turn. 
Sorry, Road Rage. You guys! Cut it out. That's some bullshit. There's no way the Lawhawk Logistics can get a license in any non-corrupt state. <laughs> what? You gotta pay the commissioners under the table sometimes. So, I guess we're just gonna have to... I've heard New Mexico has got some of the best lot lizards, too. Is that right, Nick? Or am I just... Did I just make that up? I don't know. Nick seems to know a lot about lot lizards. All right. Uh, oh, look straight. There we go. I did say hi to Ava, didn't I? Ava, I said hi. All right, hold on a sec. Oh, this is for, this is special. Welcome, Ava. It's so wonderful to see you. This screen is just for you. It's not for anybody else. It's just for Ava. Ava, welcome to my Lawyer Plays Live bonus stream of American Truck Simulator. It really is not important to me that anyone else made it ignite except for you. Ava, you are my favorite. Everyone else is secondary. Is that good? Did I oversell it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. She didn't even... I know she's had enough time to answer because I have that low latency thing going on. What? What? Hey, you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I don't see I don't see any I don't there's someone who's not in the stream right now visibly. Oh, there you are. Merry Christmas. When I close to do the welcome screen, I just noticed I now I think is a CPG just bypassed the uh, the state authorities in New Mexico and procured a license for me. So. My goodness, so now I, I might have to wait until the game has a chance to uh, to update, but um, but yeah, so <laughs> uh, and now I, I do in fact have Nevada. Thank CPG. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Now, I don't think it's just going to suddenly be there, though. Is it? No. It would be cool if it was just locked content that was already in here. But, uh... Oh, I'm curious, though. Maybe it is already. Should I restart the game and see if Nevada's been added? Would it, could it be that simple? And, you know what? I gotta say here. Ava... I said hi to Ava. Ava's getting a little high maintenance, because I said hi to Ava. And then she apparently didn't notice, which me which leads me to think originally I said hi, and then she complained that I skipped her. Uh, which leads me to think that she wasn't paying attention, which that hurts my feelings. And then she and then she accused me of ignoring her. Okay. So you know what? Let me see. I think. Let me see. I'm I'm just I don't know if it'll it's gonna happen that quickly. But I'm going to exit the game and go back in and then see if somehow I've got the, uh, if they just add New Mexico. Because right now, Steam is trying really hard to add New Mexico. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. You guys can watch with me what's going on over here. There she is. Ava. I made such a big deal about you. Didn't you see when I did this? And I was like. This is a welcome screen just for Ava, and I did this whole big fuss over Ava, and then crickets. It's crickets. Anyways, wel welcome back, Ava. Did you feel special then? I made a big deal. I made a big deal about you. Uh... Did this... Right now? Is it gonna update it to have the truck? Mm -hmm. the DLC New Mexico it says it's installed okay so let's let's run it again can we close this window please please okay thank you so okay hold on this is what happened I said hi to you but then you thought then you accused me of ignoring you so I put up the welcome screen I was like 
Ava's my favorite person. And welcome just to Ava. No one else matters because Ava's my favorite. Everyone else here is just like background decorations because I just wanted Ava to be here. But then uh, and your phone messed up, so you didn't hear it. So that was just, this is a brief reenactment. It was much more grand uh, and it probably felt, it, was, it sounded much more heartfelt when I did it the first time. Uh, well, let me see, I'm gonna get this game. I'm gonna relaunch this game in the background. <laughs> it's gonna be great to go to one of New Mexico's two cities. And, oh wait, I can still, I did not accept that job yet. Let me see. Hold on, I should get, uh, let me, let me get back into the game. So I can still pick up a job in New Mexico. <laughs> Thank you kindly. All right, Ava. I just, I felt a little bit, you know, I got a little, okay, game change. Yeah, I know. I got a little, pi a little pissed off that I made such a big deal. And then I was like, oh, she left, you know? It's like, jeez, I got, I didn't know I was in the, I thought I was like really in a doghouse. Brad feels alienated. Well, Brad, you got to know that the only reason I'm playing and streaming this tonight is for you, man. Even though Ava's my favorite and everyone else is secondary, the only reason I'm playing this is for you, Brad. He's just my special truck simulator friend. Maxie's a special truck simulator friend too, but Brad, you're the one who asks all constantly for me to stream this. And you're the one that I'm always thinking of when I think about streaming this. Oh, Jared's working on another raid. All right, brother. Well, don't push too hard, man. You know, I like the raids, but, but I don't want, I don't want, I like it to be consensual. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, knockout, knockout. I forget, I think I was making a big deal. I was making a big deal about Ava and I didn't say hi to you. So knockout, you know, you're one of my favorites. So thank you for being here. You gotta go, you gotta go. Uh, what happened to Ava over this weekend? Half the PowerPoints you have. Ah, last time when I was streaming on Thursday night, you were having a terrible time with your power and stuff. Oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's awful. That's awful. And hello, Sean. There are also all sorts of people here that I haven't even said hi to. So I was looking, I was all worked into my own, you know, my own thing. But let's see, do I have, I have a, uh, can I turn this over? Do I have New Mexico jobs now I can go to? That's what, that's what this is all boiling down to. Uh, I wonder if any of my, if any of my uh, mods are gonna mess up. Oh, I'm back in Los Angeles. Holy crap, okay. I thought they were just gonna put me like off the road in Holbrook, uh, Arizona. Okay, so let's let's get to Los Angeles then, since that's where we are. I I noticed you, Food Brother Feeling and Trez. I said hi. Why is what the hell is happening? I'm saying everyone I say hi to, they don't notice when I say hi. There's Dark Jake. I said hi, Dark. Hold on, Dark Jake. Hi, hi, Dark Jake. Talons of hookers in your truck cab. Justice, call. <laughs> Slurpy justice in the back of the in the back of the cab. Uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Ooh, that's a juicy job. Look at that. It's fifty-one. It's fifty-one bucks a mile. Forty-five thousand household appliances. I think I'm taking that. Atrexus lives. Law Hawks. Good evening, sir. Were you uh? Were you confused that I was playing this game? You came in, you, you look like, you're like, what in the world is this? This is American Truck Simulator. It is a fan favorite that I pull out on special occasions. Hey, Bobby Gray, Jared sent you. Jared said, he gave me a hint that he was working on some stuff. Uh, he was working on getting more people in here and there's, it was not just all talk. Here's Bobby Gray. Welcome, Bobby Gray. Uh, what was that? You remember you took a graduation exam at Walmart to get a one dollar raise and you passed it in your first time and you're making an extra buck. That's awesome, Evie. Holy crap. You just you you're you just started that job too. That is so awesome. I'm happy I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Uh 
There are Walmarts in this game too. Look, I can get a job for a Walmart to Santa Cruz, but I want to go to New Mexico. So that's what we're doing. We're setting that as our GPS destination. Uh, gas is full. You don't know if a bird can learn law? Well, I specialize in bird law. You know, it's more of my, it's more of a specialization than an actual bird learning law. And there's Jerry Willis, also sent by the Jared. Jerry Willis, thank you, man. Let me turn my car on. And... Okay, something screwy is going on. Okay, this is what I was trying to get. It's my little cheater cam. Don't all trucks have a special, a special like GPS where they can see satellite overhead imagery of where they're going to make it easier to get in and out of parking lots? I thought they do, didn't they? Hey, Zio Kim. Hey, I don't think I said hi. I don't think I said hi to you. I sell appliances. Can you drop a fridge or microwave off to my place? Well, I would. I totally would, Ava. You know what we need? We need an expansion, and we need in real life to build an underground. <laughs> we need. To build an underground, uh, wait, why can I, there we go. We need to find a highway, a highway that will take us from Los Angeles to, uh, to Australia. And then I will definitely, maybe I need to play, uh, boat simulator, whatever, tugboat, who, what are they called? The big freighter things. I need to drive one of those to bring you stuff. And there's Zange. Can you ship all the PSVR headsets to me? You need more of them. I'll see what I can do, man. But you remember, you have to live in California, Nevada, Arizona, and now thanks to Chris Plays Games, New Mexico. Otherwise, apparently, the rest of the nations, they they don't exist. The rest of the world does not exist. Steal your your cargo and run off to Baja. Go ahead. That would. That would please food over here if they uh, uh, if they just put in Tijuana. I could make food over an enthusiast of this game like some of you, some of the rest of you are. Hey, Abby Gibson, what is up? Welcome to the stream. You ring the Department of Fair Trade tomorrow. You're too emotionally worn out to do it. You talking about for your situation, or are you gonna try and get them to construct a uh, a highway from Los Angeles to Australia so I can bring you appliances? I didn't text food or rear. All right, hold on. Nick, good point, man. Good point. Got to text food or rear. All right. I got... I totally forgot to text food or rear. Because when... A lot of times when I do a bonus stream, especially an American Truck Simulator bonus stream, I'm very mellow. I'm very mellow, and I'm not... I'm not detail-oriented. Let's see. Guest started late... Bonus stream American truck Sam Sam with an M. Maple will send too if you find some lot lizards. Now. Alright. Food rear has been texted. So <laughs> driving from Cali to Australia. We will find a way. I'll get an amphibious truck, and we'll drive. Don't text that, Mifu. <laughs> Ava, it's for both. All right, good. Kill two birds with one stone. That's good. You got to maximize your. You got to be a, a wise a steward of your time and energy. So, while you're calling them about all the crazy crap that's been happening with your stuff, you also let them know. G Law wants a highway, so he can truck, truck, trucking all the way to your place with some new stuff. I will set you up with all the bling, Ava. A, a space truck? Hold on. <clears throat> Weird to see your town on the map. Don't go there, you might get robbed. <laughs> Food brother, uh-oh. What was it, Bakersfield? I forget, I know you're somewhere up there. Oh, gotta stop. I almost just went, I almost blew right through this. So here we are in Los Angeles. They actually... He just said, much love. I don't know what that means. At least, maybe he's just appreciative 
that I've told him that I'm streaming, and I didn't... F I did forget, but then Nick... Nick is usually, I think, the one responsible for reminding me. Most of the time when I text Fooderear, Nick is the one that reminded me. One, one of those James Bond cars? Yeah, it's like, it turns into a boat or a submarine, shoots missiles. It's awesome. I had to sp spend a kid's birthday present money on replacing food. Well, that sucks. I mean, I hope, I hope they understand. I imagine your kids would understand that, because they're there, I'm sure, that there are things that occur beyond your control. I hope they do, because that, that's, that's rough. That's rough. For everybody, especially when something like this happens, like, a week before Christmas. That sucks. Let's see, disclaimer, I was subbed on Gaming YT, not regular. Oh, Zange! Really? Wait, you mean... Are you, you were subbed on... Let me get over here. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'm gonna take up two lanes here for a second. You were subbed on YouTube, but not YouTube Gaming. I still get confused about that. And I I don't know half the time where I'm subscribed to people. Because I've subscribed in both places. Um, chilling breaks down. It's a fire rig. So I don't, I don't, I'm missing something there. Mm, other way around, but yeah, okay. One place, but not the other. Okay, gotta stop. It's red light. Just like in real life. I think in this game, you can't even turn right on red, though. Like in... Hey, it's the Santa Monica Pier. What are you saying? I didn't even realize where I was. Uh, That's one of my favorite areas to come hang out in real life. Hmm... And where am I going? I'm picking up stuff from Best Buy. There's a Holiday Inn. Okay. Picking, uh... The game has VR. The view has... The view you have makes it seem like they would. I don't know if they specifically support VR. Because I don't have it, so I don't look into it. I think it works with VR. I mean, a lot of games that weren't made for VR, for VR will still kind of work with it, but I don't know if the game is... Like, the devs have specifically accommodated VR. I don't... Actually, I don't... I would not think so, because I would think it would, it would be more conspicuous if they did. Can you deliver Walmart shipments to Best Buy instead? Probably. I don't know. Never seen it happen. Let me see. We're going to look at job offers. Oops, that's not it. Freight market. I think I'm I'm probably just gonna go to another I am going to no that's Santa Maria. So in this particular case, I could take a job to Santa Maria to deliver to deliver to from Best Buy to a Walmart. So yes, that does happen. Uh but in this particular case, that's low pay and it's not very it's not a very good use of my trucking mile. We'll just put it like that. Because I can get almost twice as much per mile and a longer trip. Instead of getting 5000 for a job, I'm going to get 45000 We're going to have us a nice, leisurely drive. So we're going to do it like that. Got to deliver some Geek Squad slaves to New Mexico. Let's see. Let's use Cheater Cam. Let me see. We're coming, coming at this at an angle. Yep, stop. Okay, a little abrupt. It's okay. You think that's too tight an angle for me to pick it up? It'd be nice if I could. Come on, let me get into this angle. There we go. There we go. And it is loaded. And we are good. Am I getting another Charizard raid? Now, here's the thing I don't understand. To get two raids from the same guy within a half hour. How does that work? Unless it's a different type of raid. But, uh... 
Thank you for the second raid. Let me see. I've only been streaming for 35 minutes. So thank you for the second raid. Uh, if you want the special wel welcome raider screen, you can rewind about 15 minutes and take a look at that. But the second raid is still appreciated. It's Charizard and uh, there's Jerry Shelton again with an again with Lord, the second Charizard raid. Talons of justice. Chasey Fisher has become a law hawk. Look at that. Some amazing things are happening in my American truck simulator, simulator strain. They can't stay away. Man, it's like double rating. Because it's a, it's a truck. They can't stay away from the truck. Nah, it's not fishy, Maxi. I know what's up. I, I, there are communities of streamers who they don't wait. Because most of us in our most of our circle we wait until the we're ready to finish streaming for the day and then when we're ready to finish streaming we will direct our people who will no longer be watching us to uh to raid someone else that we like but there are circles of streamers that they'll stream for you know hours and every 15 or 20 minutes they'll raid someone just just to send people over for subs and likes and then they'll all come back and they'll raid somebody else. That's that. That's how it works, right? Jared and and uh, what's where is he at? Is he still here? Isn't that how it kind of works? Where you get one guy will have a whole bunch of raids in one night. Um, raiding while staying alive. Yeah, well, it's a different type of thing. Now I will say. Like, the people in those circles, and I've talked to them, they seem like, they're nice. Yeah, I, I, like, I've, Charizard, I've, I made, I friended him on Twitter, he seems like a nice guy. Um, but, that's where you'll see that they're, that they're very, uh, they put a very large emphasis on channel growth and number growth. Which, you know, like I said, I, I like the love, I love, I like when people raid me and stuff, I appreciate the support. But, um... But these are the guys that are like, I think Charizard's got like three or four times or more at this point. Shit, I, I, I messed up. Okay, I'm with the, I didn't, I'm surprised I didn't get a ticket. Uh, I think he's got like three or four times more subscribers than I do, but it's because there's this whole circle of, uh, of streamers that that's what they do. They're just, they're raiding every 10 minutes, right? So, and it's just basically to get more people subscribed to more people and and uh back and forth just to sort of it's like a big raid it's like a big sub orgy you know it's like kind of like that it's like they're getting a little double action going on the side still streaming or raiding someone else a little backdoor action you know it's great <laughs> anyways they mean well but yeah so yeah i, I don't See, look, look. Of XBLN, XBL Nan just subscribed to me. And it's from the, probably from that Charizard raid, you know? There's a lot of people in here. Yeah, well, you know what? It, first off, I'm getting raids from Charizard. So that's, that's up in my view count. But also, I'm playing American Truck Simulator. You know what? Everyone's like looking around and they're like, everyone's playing PUBG. They're playing all, you know, there, there's a lot of very popular games right now that are dominating the streams. And and, uh, and no one, when they look and they're like, oh my God, American Truck Simulator. That sounds really, that sounds lame. But then they're like, I want to take a look at it anyways. And then they look and it's, it's like hypnotizing, you know? Some of these raiders, they're like, oh, I'm just going to, we're just going to raid G-Law real quick and leave and raid someone else. But then they see the truck. They see the open road and they just, they're like, well, I'll just look for a minute because it's kind of relaxing. And <laughs> uh, but there, there's actually, it, this is sort of one of those games, honestly, that because it doesn't get played that much when, it, when you do go live, like I'll almost always get a higher view count when I'm streaming this game than when I stream most of my other games. <laughs> because I think there are some people that look for this game and when they see it they're like oh shit this is my opportunity to watch american truck simulator live uh all right let's get over let's do this i don't know exactly where i'm going i'm i'm trusting the gps though 
What happened? Oh, okay. I paid off a loan installment. <laughs> I thought I got a ticket. That's the same sound that happens when you get, like, a, a traffic fine. <laughs> uh, Jared's the one that goes around and grabs links. Yeah, Jared is, is one of... He's, like, one of the, uh... The ringleader orchestrators of, of those, uh... Of, of the multi-raid communities. So, I've got a lot of raids from Jared. I see Jared orchestrating raids all the time. You woke out of a dead sleep as if you knew somehow I had started streaming. Well, I'm, I'm glad you did, Zio Kim. It's amazing. Uh, to be fair, you're only listening. You're playing WoW, unsurprisingly. That, just, that doesn't surprise me at all. In fact, yeah, this is... This is the perfect kind of stream that you can have on in the background while you're doing other things. So... Like, if you need to, need to, like, go to the kitchen, wash some dishes, or, you know, you bring your phone in there and just have it going. So you can, you can listen to my, uh, to my comforting and cheering voice as you perform mundane tasks or play World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah, Jared's been subbed to me for, like, a year and a half now. You've been subbed for a long time. It's true. Let me see. Uh... Oh, there's Claire! Hello, Claire. Welcome. See, this is what happens when I stream on random nights. I get to see... I get to see people I don't see all the time. And maybe it's the American Truck Simulator. Claire was like, Oh shit, G-Law's playing American Truck Simulator. I gotta get in on that shit. She's like, there I am. You can't look away, can you? Just look at the road. Look at the road. The road will take you away. So what's the point of this game? Keith, you're, you're looking at it. You're already, you're looking at it. This is it, man. Live in the now. That's the point. Live in the now. Uh, actually, the point is you are running a trucking business. You start with just as a freelancer that you can get jobs with other people and they provide the truck and you get a little thing and then you can save up by your own truck and then uh and you run jobs from different places right now i'm doing a, a job from uh from los angeles to where the hell was it too <laughs> um and this is my truck too it's got law lawyer plays live logos one of my viewers did this special custom paint job for me it's pretty sweet this is what I look like when I'm driving a truck constantly. My face is like this right now. Uh, does it say what my job is right now? No, it doesn't. I can't tell where I'm going, but it's somewhere in New Mexico. Oh, looks like there's a little uh, fan. Did a plane land on the highway? That's insane. I've, I haven't played this in a few months and I'm noticing I've noticed weird things, weird accidents happening on the side of the roads so that are kind of tripping me out a little bit. I am totally winning. Look at this. I'm I'm driving a Best Buy truck. I think I'm. Oh, okay. This is hard to drive when I'm in that view. I, oh no! And I missed my. Oh, see now it gets crazy. I missed my exit, so now GPS has got to reroute me. Whew! Yeah, this is that's like. Uh, there's some crazy shit going on right now. That's when things go balls to the wall. GPS got to readjust because I missed the exit. Uh, <laughs> are there UFO? Hey, Noxire. Um, are there UFO crashes? I don't know. I don't even know. Anything could happen in this game. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You're harassing an egg roll, Carmen? I don't even know what that means, man. Uh. <laughs> okay. So wait, what the hell just happened? Hold on. I'm going to look at the map. That's crazy because I missed the that interchange. Now they've re they I was going to go f up 15 through Barstow and because I missed that turn instead of giving me a U-turn they're just like screw it, we're taking the 10 all the way to Phoenix now. Are you happy G-Law? Did you want to see Barstow? Bzz, too late. Snooze you lose. No Barstow for you gaming lawyer. You're restarting your PC to install an update. Damn, Mike. Really? Still? Is it... I hope... You, Mike mentioned earlier that Windows 10 updates have been, like, screwing with his system. So I hope you get it sorted out, man. Oh, I'm gonna go cruise control. Hold on. 
get back down 55 and cruise control on. All right. And now it's smooth sailing all the way to uh, to Phoenix. Uh, where's the next conference for streamers? What the hell does that mean? I don't understand that. Uh, it'd be great if you co-op this game. One player drives and the other operates the radio and navigates. There, There's a multiplayer version of this game, but no, it's every person in their own truck. Maxi's played the uh, the multiplayer. I'm still I'm digging the single player. I feel like the AI drivers in this game are not that terrible. Sometimes they suck, but I prefer somewhat stupid AI drivers to I don't know people trying to run you off the road, <laughs> like playing with other players, they play all crazy and stuff. Um. I would have got my hubcap stolen in Barstow anyways. I think Barstow is where, when we go to Vegas, where we like to stop. Is that where they have the alien beef jerky? And, uh, and the famous Euro place? I think that's Barstow. I was thinking about it last time. Let me see. Want to do a multiplayer? Keith, do you have this game? Um, I was talking about the multiplayer thing last stream. I've tried it a couple times, bringing other people in, and I wasn't, I'm not totally sold on, on, on the idea that multiplayer is the thing that works well with the way I stream. I'm not totally sold on it. I'm not entirely convinced that it, that it, that it fit. It was a fit for me. So for now, I'm not committing to any multiplayer stuff. That's why when I went back and played more Dead by Daylight, I started playing as the killer instead of like doing Survive with Friends. Um, because, just, you know, stream got a little weird. Got It's a little too much for me to juggle. Um, the multiplayer dev team is good at banning pro- Oh, really? So if they're, if they're like, treating it like GTA, where it's like, oh, we're just gonna run everyone off the road, the devs will ban those people for driving like assholes? That's awesome, man. I should, I should try that at some point. Brad, you want me to take the back roads? Is it going to be like Texas Chainsaw Massacre? It's like, oh, I blew a flat. I'll just pull into this nice, uh, this nice service station up here. I certainly hope there's nobody scary that's going to do anything bad while my truck gets repaired. Hey, it's, it's Koodle. What's up, man? Welcome. G-Law plays alone. I'm not, com I'm not saying I'll always play alone, but I think I, I think from my forays into doing multiplayer stuff, and based on the response of, of, a lot of some of my regulars um it just it just doesn't it didn't seem to fit so it's not something i'll be doing all the time it doesn't fit my stream style uh or just go off the road there you go oh shit like i were you were you here that one night when i did that brad i was trying to i started going off the road and i, I was trying to take a shortcut back onto the highway and i got behind a median and then I hit all this bumpy stuff, and finally I got, I, my truck got just stuck. And I actually was like freaking out for about five minutes, thinking I'd ruined my game and was gonna have to start my whole career over. But uh, is this a regular semi? Is it oversized? It's a single trailer, regular. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I went over here. So, whoa, sorry, sorry, brother. I kind of... All I can say is if somehow I ended up, if I was driving a truck and I ended up suddenly driving from the roof, you better watch out because shit's going to get ugly. Some people are probably going to die. All right, let's get back over here. I couldn't just slow down. I'm on cruise control. I don't want to ruin the momentum. You know? Uh, you wanted to play Gow? G O W one two three or four? What is that? The chances are, well, maybe I do know what it is, but I just don't know what is Gow G O W. All right, gotta navigate around this guy. Sorry, buddy. Cruise control. Can't slow down. Cruise control. 
if I slow down, it's going to take me 20 minutes to get back up to speed again. That's basically how it works. No roof driving. It's roof surfing safari. But yeah. So this is lower your play. Oh wait. Oh shit. God damn it. Okay, back. Nothing. No one look. Look away. Okay, everything's back. Okay, you guys can look again. Lawhawk Logistics. With <laughs> Lawhawk Logistics, with over six months' experience of doing live streams, of driving a truck, maybe once every <laughs> once every six to eight weeks, a four-hour stream, you can count on us to get your goods from one place to another. Lawhawk Logistics. We are our professional drivers are trained to never go off the road and to get your wares safely to where they need to go. Lawhawk Logistics. Cool. <laughs> Don't, don't stream and drive. American self-driving truck simulator is released. I, I would be into that. If I could push a button right now and just have this truck self-drive, I'd be looking like, like, oh, look at all the thi things going. And then, but as it is, like, I'm surprised I didn't drive off the damn road right now doing that. <laughs> stay, stay in the truck. Stay in the truck, GL. <laughs> It's not GTA. But well, see, once when I come up here, I just lose. I lose all sense of perspective. I could probably get used to it since I still got those mirrors up there. But I just feel more comfortable sitting in a position that I was if I was in a real truck. If you were playing the game, this would be you. You think I, you like drifting? Like where I make the car, where I make the truck skid out? Like in, like in racing? I don't think I got that kind of flexibility. Three sheets to the wind. Okay. Is this the time to take the short, take the shortcut, Brad? I don't know, Brad. I feel like my GPS, my GPS is, uh... Let me see, what are the views on? Oh, this is the roof cam. Wow, this is kind of... This is actually kind of cool. So this is what it would be like... Except I can't turn my head. This is what it would be like... If I had a, a seat on the roof. And this is what it would be like... If I was sky gliding. What is it called? Where they have the rope and you can... If I was hand gliding off the back of my truck, it'd be like this. Hey, whoop, whoop, whoop. It's getting bad. It's getting bad again. And drift around the map. I'm not sure that fully loaded semi trucks with with fully loaded trailers are really good at drifting. Is the thing, Keith? Uh, I feel like hypothetically, if I were to go off the road, like across the other side, like I've never done, but if I did, I would have noticed if I could if I was drifting. Unless you just mean like drifting, like. I'm in this lane, and then I'm just, without realizing it, just like, oh, I'm going over here. Oh, shit. Going back over here. That's drifting. But that's not the kind of extreme drifting I think you're talking about. It works in GTA, so I should try it. Yep. Can you do it with a semi, with a fully load, with a fully loaded trailer in GTA? With some drifting? See, this is the thing. Whenever, th this is... This is what happens every time I stream this game. And I think I disappoint a lot of people. Uh, people always tell me, oh, drive off that bridge, see what happens. Drive off the cliff. Dude, crash into all the other cars. But I'm a, it's Law Hawk Logistics, all right? I'm the lawyer trucker. And what do lawyers love? What do we love more than anything in the world? Well, justice is the second thing that we love. First thing we love most in the world is money. And if I damage my cargo, I have to go to the way station. And I have to go to the way station because if I don't, then I'll get fined and I'll get less money. All right. So I can't, I don't get a jackknife because I'll damage my goods and I'll get less money. And that wouldn't be very lawyerly of me. You're not watching the gaming Evil Knievel. Wait, where the hell... Oh, I don't have to. I didn't even have to come here. Never mind. It was a green light for the way station. 
<laughs> Lying. <laughs> Nick. Tacos. Um, tacos is, is, uh, is right after justice. <laughs> this tacos. It drift on my way out. I'm literally, I literally have my, my foot, like, pedal to the metal. This is as fast as I could go. I don't know, maybe I drifted. Did you happen to notice? But, <laughs> that's right. No, it's, uh, how's my driving? Hold on, can we see it? it says it right over here. How's my driving? Call 1-800-EAT-SHIT. <laughs> But I can't turn the, uh, can I, can I actually look at my truck? Truck manager. And we're, I want to get, they don't let me just free look at my truck unless I'm driving, which I don't want to do it now. Okay. Make a sneak peek. How's my driving? Please call 1-888-8. Okay. And case in point, that guy behind me is probably dialing that number right now. <laughs> to American Truck Simulator Tokyo Drift. You had homemade ramen for dinner? You thought it was yummy? I, that's what I had for dinner tonight, too. Of course, it was my gourmet Korean spicy ramen. My, my spicy, special, expensive ramen. But I did have ramen for dinner tonight with about half of a head of cabbage and a bunch of kale. I cut up a bunch of kale because for some reason, kale in ramen, like kale's kind of tough and unpleasant if you try to eat it in a lot of other ways. But cut up and put into soup, it becomes like, it gives it a, a hardiness, like a texture. It's nice. I like it. I smell it. Small fingers. Smells of cabbage. Carny folk. Oh my god, gas much? I haven't really... You know what? I didn't even think about it. I'm not keeping track. I haven't noticed any particular... Uh, any particular over gas issue going on. But, you know. I'm, I haven't been taking notes, though. Could be. Yeah. You used cabbage, no damn kale. I'm telling you, man. Well, here's the thing. Back in the 90s, when I worked at a grocery store, we didn't sell kale normally. All we did was eat, we used it as, like, the garnish around the produce to, use, to as sort of, like, the borders between the different types of fruits and stuff. And it was one lady that came in and would buy kale, and she bought kale for her Komodo dragon. We thought it was the weirdest thing in the world that someone came in and bought kale. But now, kale is like something that people eat. And I was not totally on board, but my wife kept buying it. My wife kept trying to see if there were different ways we could prepare it that we would actually like. And she actually found a couple ways that were good. You also, if you bake it, if you get a little bit of oil on it and bake it the right way, it almost becomes like chips. And it's got almost like a barbecue flavor. Um, but normally, I just put it in my soup. When I put it in my soup, especially because I don't eat meat uh, with my with my soup, it's kind of like it's something that almost creates a meat-like texture. There's, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of awesome. Um... Oh, Call of Duty World War II. No, I don't have it. I don't. I don't buy a lot of. I don't buy a lot of multiplayer shooters. I think this is a theme I've, I've mentioned a few times. Now I got really into Dead by Daylight because it's an asymmetrical. It's sort of like Alien Isolation, except with people, with other people. But when it comes to, like, I think the, with the Blizzard sale, I, I bought Overwatch was super cheap. So I finally bought Overwatch. And at some point, maybe I'll get in the mood for it, but I, I tried just playing Overwatch. It's the first uh, multiplayer shooter that I've bought in years. I tried playing Overwatch. I played for about 20 minutes, and I was just like, I'm bored. Like, I, well, I wasn't, you know, 
first off, I wasn't good at it, so, but that, it takes time. But it takes extra time for me because I'm in my 40s. When I was in my 20s, I liked competitive multiplayer shooters because I actually had fun. But when you get in your 40s, this is going to happen to you too, man. When you get in your 40s, your reflexes will slow down. And so when you're playing these multiplayer shooters against people half your age, they will kick your ass. And let me tell you, uh, logging into a game where your main experience is just getting your ass kicked, it, it, it sort of, it sort of, for me, it, it, it's, it's taught me, like, negative connotations with a lot of those games, so I end up not wanting to play them. It's like, oh, shit. That's why I start, like, people talk about Left 4 Dead, like Nick was mentioning I, that he'd play Left 4 Dead with me and stuff. And I would think about games like that, because then it's like you're cooperating with other people. I might be able to get into something like that. But, uh... And I played a little, uh... What the hell is that? Not PUBG, but the, the, the free one that looks like World of Warcraft. With this crafting? I forget what it's called. Dark Jake's been playing a lot of it. Uh... And I, I get, like, out of 100 people, I'll get down to the top 10. I've been second place a number of times. But the only reason I get to second place is because I'm, like, a sneaky bitch, you know? I'm a, I always try to find, like, plan my route so everyone else fights each other. And I'm the one, like, hiding behind a rock. My whole objective is just to get to the next safe zone without being spotted. That's, that's how I play games like that. <laughs> All right. And the nice meaty taste of oh, pipe knock. Talons of justice. Jonathan Moore has become a law hawk. Oh, thank you, Jonathan Moore. And uh, let me see. Where are we? Are we in New Mexico yet? Oh shit! I'm getting way crazy here. I wasn't even paying attention. Are we in New Mexico yet? No. We're. Oh, we got a long. Where am I? Am I here? Oh, here I am. Okay. Right tonight after I was explaining how I don't have the New Mexico expansion, Chris Plays Games got it for me. So, when we get to New Mexico, when I cross the border, whether he's here or not, I want to offer a special thanks to CPG for making the journey possible. Excuse me! Can't slow down will take me way too long to speed up again. Cannot slow down. I do have a long ass drive ahead. But don't worry at being well con I'm being well compensated because I'm a lawyer. I use the lawyer. The lawyer. The code of the lawyer. Not effing Fortnite. That's what I'm talking about, Keith. Yes. Well, PUBG might be a better game. I don't know. I can't I've watched both being played. And I would try PUBG too if it was free. <laughs> And eventually, if if I find it super cheap, I'll get it and I'll try it out. But like I played Fortnite, and I played quite a few games of Fortnite where it's solo, sneaking around. And I would do the same with PUBG. But it it'd probably still be the kind of game where I'd play it a little bit. Because what happened? I bought I bought Dead by Daylight at the same time that I bought that I started playing Fortnite, and I played some Fortnite, and then I played some Dead by Daylight, played a little more Fortnite. A little more Dead by Daylight, and then Dead by Daylight clicked, and that's the only multiplayer game I played for the next two months, and I haven't played Fortnite since. That's what happened. You want fried cabbage with butter and bacon? Oh, not is Noxire still in here? Noxire gave me a link to a poutinery. Oh, call it Smokes, I think. It's a Canadian poutine chain. We were talking about poutine last time. It's a Canadian specialty. It's French fries, gravy, and cheese curds. And he found a link for a Canadian chain. Uh, there's a location here in Los Angeles. It'll be really easy for me to get to. And uh, it's called poutine. P-O-U-T-I-N-E. Poutine. Uh, because I mentioned when I go to the store, there's something called poutine poppers and it's basically like jalapeno poppers it's these little deep fried it's it's basically it it's like little deep fried balls of mashed potatoes gravy and cheddar cheese is what it what it 
and I love it. I've been so addicted to them, but I never had actual real poutine. And they have all these different ones too. And there's some with bacon. And someone else in the chat towards the end last time said, when I get my poutine, I need to get one with bacon. But anyway, now I'm all excited about checking out this poutine place. And I think they've even got one. They've even got, there's only one. I looked all over the menu. There does appear to be one type that my wife can order. My wife is vegan. Because most all of them have cheese. Even the, they have a vegetarian section. And the vegetarian section still has cheese. But one of them just has gravy and no cheese. I think we're going to go do that. Holy deep fried balls, jet fire. Call I, I didn't say hi, did I? I answered you when you said Poontang. But then I didn't actually say hi, jet fire. Hi, jet fire. What's up, buddy? Delicious New York pizza. We got one of those places a couple blocks from us. Oh, I need to be paying attention here. My guy's starting to get a little bit sleepy. Hold on, let me check the, uh... Let me see where we're... Oh, I think I'm still good for a while. I think we're going to aim for this... We're going to aim for this place over here to rest for the night. Once we're on the 40. I think we can get that far. What is the gravy made out of? Oh, that's a good point. Oh, Brad, it's a good point. They're probably the gravy's got meat in it. That's one thing that I, I didn't think of because my wife actually is one of the first things she learned how to do when she turned vegan was use, uh, use vegetable bouillon to figure out how to make gravies that kind of taste like regular brown, brown gravy, but they don't have meat in them. And it made me forget that typically brown gravy is made with beef. Oh, maybe not then. She can eat french fries, though. But We have a Philly cheesesteak place literally right next door to my apartment building. Like, I live in a high-rise where there's businesses that are, like, literally touching one another. Like, you go to the next door and it's just, like, another business wall-to-wall -wall touching. And the closest adjacent business touching our apartment building is a cheesesteak place. You had lamb? I've had, I haven't had lamb brains. I have had brain taco, cow brain taco at, here in Los Angeles, there's certain, like a sort of authentic Mexican taquerias where they have like 30 different types of tacos with taco meats. And one of them is brain tacos. I tried it once about 20 years ago, never again. I, I try all sorts of weird shit. But that was, that was a step too far. The way that brain tasted and the way it felt when I was chewing it was just, it was almost like a weird, like, it was like s s eating tough macaronis that are squeaky. I don't know even how to describe it. I just know I decided I never was going to eat it again. I ate the taco. They're those little street, the little street tacos. So it wasn't huge. I ate it. I gave it a chance, I ate the whole thing. I had like onions and cilantro and shit. And then, once I finished it, never again. I know Food Arrear needs to be here for the taco talk. How, what, was Food Brother Fede Contreras still here? He's, uh, he's big on taco talk too. Let me see. Oh, is it Twisty? I didn't say hi to Twisty. What's up, buddy? Twisty son of Ava, welcome. I know I'm when I'm playing this game, I miss end up missing a lot of comments. So the thought of the thought of uh, brain tacos <laughs> weirds you out. Uh, I like trying different foods though, because to be honest, there there are a lot of foods that I thought sounded weird over the years that I ended up trying and really liking. Case in point, one of my still my arguably my favorite meal, my favorite kind of taco, are fish tacos, specifically from a chain called Rubio's. Uh, there are a lot of other places that have done fish tacos that I don't like. They don't do it right. But there's a place called, a chain called Rubio's around California. It's mostly a Southern California thing, and there are a few spread out. Like, I know there were a couple in Oregon and a couple in Arizona. It's mostly Southern California. And 
When I was in high school, this chain came out. Everyone's like, fish tacos, that sounds so bizarre. And then my, my high school chemistry teacher had an I love fish tacos bumper sticker on his desk. And I thought, that sounds really weird and bizarre. A fish taco? There's something wrong with that. It sounds sick. And then my mom tried it. And she's like, oh my god, you need to try these fish tacos. And I was like, I don't want to try any of your weird, weird fish taco food. This strange, it's not natural. And then she's like, well, and she, she worked it out. She's like, let me, she made like a day, almost a day out of it. She's like, cause it, she's like, let's go. I'll take you out to see a movie. We'll go to Rubio's first. I will buy you one fish taco. And if you don't like it, you can, you can eat whatever else you want and you don't have to eat any more fish tacos and I'll never bother you again. And I tried it and I was immediately like, this is awesome. What happened to Ava? <laughs> she, Ava got food tri triggered. Spicy chicken tacos. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Check out Doki Doki. Oh, hold on. Where am I? Hold on. I need to... Okay, good. This is where I need to rest for the night, or else I'm going to start blocking out. I, for some reason, I saw the off-ramp and I freaked out. I thought this might have been where I was supposed to get off. Two chicken shawarmas. I'm driving kind of like shit, aren't I? I? just noticed that. There's food, brother. Fish tacos are so good with Mexican sour cream. I haven't had... What, the way that they make them at Rubio's, and this is the way that I have them, is it's beer brattered, deep fried Alaskan cod, white fish, um, on a corn tortilla with shredded cabbage, uh, a little bit of red sauce, like salsa, and there's like a, it's sort of like a ranch and yogurt white sauce combo, like, or I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I know there's some yogurt and mayo and some sort of configuration. I don't, it's like the mystery sauce to me. You put a little back, bit of that in there, a little bit of cheddar cheese and some guacamole. And those are amazing. They are amazing. In fact, we just had some, where were we? We went to, uh, we had a family, my extended family Christmas party this past weekend. And I specifically, on our way up there, because we left early to do some last minute shopping. So we we're, we're, we left a few hours early and I made sure to plot our route in such a way that we would be crossing paths with the Rubios. And so I had some Rubios on Saturday. It's the most amazing. And that's, that's the lesson I learned. What, because I remember thinking my mom sounded nuts and I was not taking her seriously, thinking, oh, she's just, it's just, she's doing this thing to, that she thinks is like quirky and different or whatever it's but it's it can't it's probably not that good she just like because my mom always liked experimenting with different types of foods and I, I was not always on board with like her recipes and stuff but uh this time it be, is like one of my favorite foods of all time so now i have a much more open mind that's why flash forward like five years later i'm sitting there eating cow brain tacos because like the, one of the next things I found out was about head tacos. Tacos made from head meat, the tacos de cabeza, food brother. I'm sure you had it, man. I mean, it's still just cow meat, but it's like shaved, scraped off of the head. And it's very fine and it's very tender and it tastes different. And when I was in college, I tried that for the first time and I thought that was amazing. And that's where I ended up going to the special taco place. They had head tacos and all sorts of different tacos and they had the brain tacos. And I was like, well, hey, every type of weird taco I've ever tried so far that I thought sounded weird, I thought was awesome. So I'm moving in for the brain taco now. And I went in, and the brain taco, that was the taco too far. I, that, I, I ate that taco. I came back. I said, nope, that is uh, far from being my new favorite taco. It is, I think I, I vowed at that point that I would never eat another brain taco again. You know, I mean, unless somehow I was at some fancy social occasion where that's the special thing that they made, I could make myself eat it. But I would never voluntarily seek it out. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan Moore, now you're in the mood for tacos? <laughs> oh no, I just saw someone said it doesn't smell fishy if she washes it. 
Um, I mentioned that I miss I miss comments while I'm driving. I'm kind of glad in this case. I don't know where that conversation's been, but I don't want to touch it with a 10-foot pole. Tacos de cabeza, tripas. Tripas is like uh, stomach lining. I've had some of that before. Lengua, tongue, uh, is cow tongue. I've had that before. Okay, this is where this is where I'm getting off here. And it, we're gonna gas up. <clears throat> I'm gonna gas up, and uh, I, need, I don't need to go on the scales, do I? I don't think so. I didn't get any warning to go on scales. We're gonna gas up, and then I'm gonna. I'm gonna sleep for the night, and then we'll continue our journey. Only sleeping in the game. I'm not I'm not like ending the stream. All right, turn off the engine. Fill up. Twisty, you out of here, man? Have a, have a good night. You make some cow brain tacos for your mom. Then she'll know what I went through. Might be tricky finding cow brains. Okay. No more about tacos. You think, wait, Keith, you think all tacos are gross? That's like saying all sandwiches are gross. I mean, tacos is like, there's so many different ways you can make a taco. Come on. They can't, you can't hate all tacos. <sighs> Hear that? I'm getting tired. All right, we're going to park here. Yeah? Well, you gonna get the little thing telling me I can... Where's the thing telling me that I can rest? It's supposed to happen, like, right here. Alright. That's a little bit... <clears throat> He'd be able to... To, to make the brain tacos? Alright, so now the question is... Where the hell am I supposed to park to sleep? Maybe over here? I feel like if I park next to all these other trucks, it should count. It should qualify. <sighs> I know I'm tired. The game is being... A beach it is being a beach for me, okay? All I want to do is get some shut eye. Here, I'm just gonna park all across these. I say, screw you guys. I'm taking all the spots. One of them is gonna count. There we go. Now we're gonna sleep. Nope, that's not how we do it. Okay, now we're gonna sleep. Getting some rest. 8:50 a.m. is a great time as any. It's cargo containers in here. Cool. You hate all Mexican food. It gives you stomach aches. Keith. First off, there's a, whatever there are Mexican food. There's a lot of different types of Mexican food. It can't all make you sick. Uh, but I mean, if you ever had fried eggs for breakfast, scrambled eggs, there are Mexicans that eat that, and then and, then, and it's Mexican food. You know, <laughs> so. There's just apparently some of the you probably all the fried stuff probably screws you up is what I'm guessing. I'll, they love deep frying a lot of things, which makes me love Mexican food. All right, let's straighten this out a little bit so I'm not ramming the other trucks. Mexican food is supposed to give you the runs. That just means it's done right. I guess that's if it's uh, if it's you know, if they use a lot of oil. But there's nothing inherent in in Mexican food that would make it do anything. It just depends on there's certain trends of how Mexican food is prepared though that can people aren't used to it. Like if you're not used to fried stuff and you eat a bunch of fried Mexican food stuff, then that can make you feel sick, you know. But where what part of the country do you live in, Keith? I guess the thing is I grew up in Southern California. I grew up with, within, you know, 30 miles of the Mexican border. So I, there was a lot of Mexican food around to be had. So I guess I just learned 
to have a a deep appreciation for Mexican food. And I like Taco Bell too. That's not real Mexican food, but I love Taco Bell and I love real Mexican food. You're in Minnesota. You love fried food, but you have Mexican food. That's weird. Huh. I don't think I haven't had Mexican food. No, well, I haven't had real Mexican food in a while. Except for the fish tacos. That's that's real. Those fish tacos never mind. I just tuned it out. But I haven't been to like sort of a traditional Mexican restaurant in a in a long time. I can't even remember how long. Food brother Yeah, the TJ tacos. That's the good stuff, man. When I used to live near the border and I'd go down to Tijuana with food rear and There'd be like the taco, like a truck or a stand, and there'd be a big old spool of meat, like on a, a rotating spool of meat with a blowtorch next to it. And they would shave, they would be rotating and they would shave off some meat with a knife and it would, and then it would fall down and they put it on a grill and like grill it up the rest of the way. And they make the little street tacos where the tacos are about the size of like dollar pancakes. And, uh, trying to think what other size would they be comparable. It's a, but they're small. They're not like the kind of tacos when you think of tacos. They're smaller. And uh, and then you go down there and they give you... We would get like five tacos for a dollar and just grub out. Oh my god, they were so... They were so delicious. I need to f go find out some more of those t kind of taco places in LA because I know they're all over the place. They're just... I live in a neighborhood where there, there aren't Actually, I know where one is. It's a truck. I need it. Now I'm craving that real bad. Anyways. Sounds like Africa. It was like bush meat. <laughs> it's bats. Ready to go get the bats. Um, No, it's legit. I never got sick from it. Of course, here's there's a secret when I was in Tijuana, though. Is anytime I had street tacos, I, it was also after I'd had about five drinks. So I, I did have a theory that perhaps the reason I never got sick was because it was it was all being uh, it was all being sterilized in my stomach in real time as I was eating it. <laughs> but yeah, that was we'd always and the other thing that I used to love down there and they and they're around here too, I, like in LA. But specifically, I used to get down in TJ is there would be the hot dog vendors where they have the hot dogs that are wrapped in bacon and you go up and they'd be frying the hot dogs wrapped in bacon and then they'd put them in buns with like some mayos and some pico de gallo, some salsa. Oh, those are those are awesome. But again, I only ever ate them after I had at least five between five and eight alcoholic beverages. Then we'd go grub on the bacon wrap tacos, or or the, no, the bacon wrap the hot dogs or the tacos. God damn it! What food? Why is it not food over here right now? Food, well, you know what? Food over here listens to these stuff. At, a lot of times he'll listen to these streams when he misses them. He'll listen to them after the fact. So it's just I know if he listens to this later, he's gonna be he's gonna be sad that he didn't get to join in on the taco, the TJ taco one and bacon wrapped hot dog conversation. Weird food in Japan? Oh yeah. But food brother Felix Contreras is a bacon wrapped hot dog. Fucking great. You know exactly what I'm talking about, man. And the only time I ever see them in the US is always, it's always like at some busy pedestrian intersection. What? Okay, now I need to go to the way station. Now, last time I didn't, this time I do. And here's the way station. Let's see. You only eat fish, deer, rabbit, and sometimes beef. Huh. There's lots of beef in Mexican food. There's lots of fish in Mexican food, too. We put it, see? Is, it, is this where I'm going? Wait. Behind this truck right here? I don't want to go the wrong way and miss it, because then I'll get the popo after me. Taco Talk, Tuesdays at 12 a.m. <laughs> it's basically... Whoa, what is this stuff? Are those like x-rays and shit? I haven't seen that before. Okay. Stop up here. There's a guy waiting for me and everything. 
I don't remember any of this shit. Hey, buddy. Just, uh, gonna do the inspection. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a safe journey. Thank you, sir. I will just be on my way now. I'm moving appliances. Wink. Going to New Mexico. It's an appliance... Appliance delivery for a Mr. M. Heisenberg. You only eat snake, alligator, Komodo dragon, and regular dragon. You know, contrary to popular belief, uh, dragons don't eat people. Uh, they eat gold. That's why they're always on top of those large, those large uh, piles of treasure. Uh, but I don't eat dragons, Brad, because dragons is a meal for kings, and uh, I'm just a I'm just a regular common folk. So <laughs> have a safe journey. Thanks, Mifo. Gallop discovered. Wait, am I there yet? Am I in New Mexico yet? I am. I'm in New Mexico. Okay. Let us all... That's why I got the really cool fancy way station coming into New Mexico. I, I, I don't... I doubt he's here, but I'm going to take this moment to honor CPG and thank him for gifting me the New Mexico expansion to American Truck Simulator. This delivery would not have been possible without CPG's generosity. Yeah, Twisty's gonna make fish tacos. Sweet. Okay, I make fish tacos at home too. And that's, that's basically Rubio's and at home are my two favorites. And so at some point, you gotta try the GL's patented fish taco recipe, which is basically like Rubio's, except I use I use fish sticks. I know I know it's uh, fish sticks. No, uh, fish sticks. I know that it's cheap and it sounds like a horrible unjustified, like, totally inauthentic way of doing it, but when you want to do things cheap and easy on the fly, you get each taco gets two fish sticks, you put it, you, uh, like, I'll heat up, either, we use a toaster oven, heat up the, to the, the things a little bit, what are they called? I want to say the tostadas, but it's, no, it's the, to the, the tortillas. You heat them up, you put the, you put a little bit of, I put a little bit of mayo on the, on the, the tortilla, and I put the fish on top of that, and then I put, I put salsa, fresh salsa, and a little bit of white yogurt, just a dab, and then I put the shredded cabbage and a little bit of cheddar cheese on top. Oh my god, I could eat those. My wife, she, I don't get to get it all the time because she gives me this look because she knows anytime I get the makings for for my homemade fish tacos, she knows I'm about to get fucking crazy with that shit because I, I will, I won't be able to stop eating it. But, uh, that's how I make my fish tacos. You don't use spices or seasoning in your food. All right, Keith, so here's, I, I can see now while you're talking about, like, Mexican food's a problem because it sounds like you have, you have a pretty like a particular, uh, like, like a controlled diet. Like there's only very certain things that you eat and, and, uh, and you don't stray from that. And that, it, you know, some people just have sensitive digestive tracts. They, they do that. I know people that can't, that they have to avoid a lot of stuff. So I'm sorry if I was getting too aggressive with the Mexican food at you, man. Uh, hey, apples. What happened to apple? Oh, Keith's being weird. Hey, apples is being weird at Keith. Who the hell is apples? Did he come in on one of those uh, Charizard raids? Anyways, I just looked over and I saw... I saw apples being weird at Keith and I, me I got an immediate, like, impulse to ban him. But, uh... Hey, we'll we'll see. He, he doesn't seem like a nice fellow. We we'll just put it like that. Too aggressive with the Mexican food. I, was I too polite, Princess Unicorn? And if I didn't say hi, hello, Princess Unicorn. I just looked over. I was like, "What the hell's going on?" Of course, I could. That's also the sort of thing Fooderia would do. 
Futuru would make up a weird name and just come in and just give someone shit because he thought it was funny and then get banned. And then come in five minutes later as Futurir. A lonely Mifo. <laughs> yeah, normally, you know, people misbehave a little bit, get a timeout first. But when someone comes in just to try and, like, hurt someone else's feelings, nah, they, they go fuck themselves. So I'm concerned. I don't tell that to many people, you know, but some, mostly people I get in here are cool. Who was that? Oh, my loan installment. Another loan installment. Yep, that's okay, Ava. You have my full support. And your executive decision has my full support. You're not aggressive with the Mexican Mexican food. Mexican food is aggressive with you. It can be. I won't lie. I'll say the one one of the sickest that I've ever been was from Rubio's. It was from a fish burrito. It's the same, basically same thing except in a burrito with some beans in it. But I used to do this thing because there are not a ton of Rubio's around. So sometimes I have to drive a little out of my way to get to one. And so I used to buy X, like two meals worth. I get a meal and then I get basically two worth and then I'd eat some that night or the next day. And there was one time when I think that was the, the, the burrito, the fish burrito that I ate the next day. I shouldn't have waited. And something happened overnight inside that fish. I was eating it thinking this tastes fishier than I remember like their burritos usually taken tasting and I it is literally one of the sickest I've ever been that was no joke hey look what happened apples got banned and then food rear came in I don't know I'm just I'm not making any accusations but what's up man <laughs> it, it just so happened I just said if apples gets banned watch food rear is gonna come in a minute later <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole cabin set up with mirrors and pedals and shit. Yeah, it's awesome. We actually moved out of our apartment into a truck that I have uh, in the... It doesn't drive. It's just a truck. My wife sits in the back of the cab. And that's where she's sleeping right now. And, and uh, where the mirrors are, that's where I put my monitors. And that's where we live now. Just because I wanted to... I feel like I've never really gone all in. On American Truck Simulator. So. When do I have time to make up username? Ass. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. Food Brother. Or, uh, Food Arrear. You missed. We, we've been talking about Tijuana Tacos. And I've, I had, hadn't brought this up for a long time. We are talking about the Tijuana, the hot dogs wrapped in bacon. Remember those, man? Oh, shit. Those were... After five or six drinks and you go down... It was to get like two or three hot dogs for a buck. Oh, with the little bit of dab of mayo and the salsa. That was good. What crash offense? You're full of shit. That didn't, I didn't crash into anything. What a, that's a bunch of bullshit. All right, Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's where that's where uh, Breaking Bad is, right? It's Albuquerque. I'm gonna look for uh, for Heis Heiserman. Is that what his name? Heiserman. I forget. Heineman. <laughs> that's Jamie from MythBusters. Getting drunk and going down for hot dogs. You gotta go down to Mexico to get the best hot dogs wrapped in bacon. Although I have seen in LA, I have seen places that sell hot dogs wrapped in bacon. Because I live in neighborhoods that have very ethnically mixed populations. Like we were walking, there's a theater that's we that's near one of the stores that we go to sometimes. And there was a concert one night. I think it must have been a country band or something. And it was a line around the block. And it was all white people going to this concert and we're walking by the line and there's a couple security guards out out like behind where the theater is where the grocery store we had to pass to get there 
And these security guards are like, damn, I think this is the most white people I've ever seen in one place. And I realized, like, holy shit. Like, I don't think about it, but we walk around our neighborhood, we're pretty much like, it's a, it's a mixing pot of everybody. And there we're very rarely many other white people around at all, ever. So that's where we go in the, the we we'll go in these stores and we'll find all this stuff that might not find in other areas. Yeah, f I was talking about fish tacos. Now Twisty's wants to make some. Let's see. I feel like a hot dog wrapped in bacon is an easy thing to acquire at home. Well, I've never tried making it myself. I imagine it would not be too complicated, but you can, I have now seen in stores that you can buy hot dogs pre-wrapped in bacon for, I, I don't know, it's not the official experience. Most white people I've seen, yeah, and then, and it's funny because we've lived, we've lived around this, this part of town for like 12 years, so I don't even think about it anymore. Like, we're used to going into businesses where they, like, where they know us and they're happy to see us, but they don't speak a word of English. We're just used to it. Um, they know enough of what I'm saying to get the thing that I want to eat. And then I take it home and I eat it, you know? At one place, there was this Korean, there was this Korean barbecue place that we used to go to. No one in there spoke a word of English. But the owner, I was there so much that the owner recognized me. And one one day I, I ran into him at a neighborhood bakery. He was in front of me in line. And we didn't have we couldn't have any kind of conversation. But he bought like three extra things. And when he, he rung out, he gave me a bag of extra pastries that he had just bought just for me because I was a good customer. And then he left. And I was like, man, these people are awesome. But yeah, I don't think about the fact that like on on any given day, I might walk for <laughs> walk through the neighborhood for ten minutes, and, and out of the the hundred people that I pass, maybe three of them are are white people. Oh, here we go! Here we go! It's time for some trailer back in action. Is it here? Yeah, baby. No U-turn. All right, here we go. All right, this is my first time trying to back up park a trailer on stream. I don't know how it's gonna go. See, so Kim was like, are we still talking about fish tacos? No, it wasn't continuous. Oh shit, I missed. I had a green arrow, I wasn't even paying attention. Whoops. Let me see. This will give us a good opportunity to look at my truck though. No, and no one was behind me, so I didn't screw it up for anyone. Look at, there's my truck. Lawyer plays live. Do process, do wheelies. All right, better get it. Oh, I just noticed my chat. Hold on. My chat was, when I screw, tried to zoom in for my truck, it, it ended up scrolling my chat down. Am I way past the line? I am, I am a wee bit past the line. Shh. Don't tell. We're just gonna play it casual. Alright, here we go. There's a long line of vehicles waiting to get the hell out of this place. I think I want to avoid that mess. I wonder what, was it all me? You know what, I'll bet that was because I was sticking out of the intersection. And the AI lost its shit. I discovered Santa Fe. Moving all that, all the merch, baby. Wait a minute. Is it there? Oh, it's screwed up. Okay, hold on. I already screwed up. I'm not even. All right, let's try this again. I need to get in here, right? Tight turn, tight turn. Food has got to finish some stuff. All right, man. 
Yeah, I didn't know if it was pretty random. I didn't know if you'd be able to make it in, but I'm glad you were at least able to check in, make up a fake name, harass some of my viewers, and then, you know, take off. That's great. Not, not, not formally accusing anyone of anything. It's just awfully suspicious, Food Rear. That's all I'm saying. It's something a MIFO would do. All right. Is this for you going to do? All right. Go to Walmart for you? I almost had a Walmart job. Where do you need it? Let's try let's try it. It's gonna be right here. Confirm. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be tricky. Even with cheater cam, this is gonna be tricky. All right. Oh, I think I started way too... I think I started way too... No, this is not going to work. I need to get... I need to get further forward. And out. Oh. <laughs> you made up a fake name when you were driving? Uh-oh. Look, he's even got, like, a cover story and everything. Uh... Typical G-Law. Typical G-Law trying to park a trailer. Let's try this again. All right. This might be, I might be doing it now. Oh no, I'm gonna hit the wall, aren't I? No! Do it! Shit. It's getting off. Stupid wall. Okay. It's alright. <laughs> this is the shit that people love watching, too. When I can't- when I can't back the trailer in properly. This is some- this is some grade A Classic G Law right here. Oh, well, oh, look what's happening. Straighten it out. Nope, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this. Don't offer to auto park. When I'm finally getting into my groove here. I doubt it's gonna let me get away with this. I, I, I hope it does. Please let me get away with this. I'm close, I'm so close. It's not, it's not enough. It's okay, we're gonna do this. I got 90% of the way, 90% of the way in. Let me see. Do it? Is this gonna do it? This might do it. I'm so close. Ha! 
bitches. I did it. I did it. <laughs> Whew. Oh, that that is excellent. It is a rush. Okay, I think, didn't I get in a little bit of an accident at some point though? Still, that is the sweet taste of success that we're having right there. 90% of the way in, sounds <laughs> Nick. <laughs> 90% of the way in. That's pretty- 90% is respectable, Nick. <laughs> Starring Stubby McStubbs. The great- the famous Stubby McStubbs. When he gets 90% of the way in, you know he's, he's having a great night. <laughs> I'm close. The sequel. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> All right. Ooh, did I... I leveled up. Let me see. Deliveries up to... Okay, now I'm going to go for long... I'm going for distance. I'm going... Going for the long drives. All this talk of 90% of the way in. It's making me feel inadequate about the size of my drives. Uh... Let's apply that. All right. Good deal. GL, have you made your... No, I haven't done any of that stuff yet. I have not. Um, for the, actually been the first thing in my mind for the last couple months, I'll be honest. I haven't done a lot of channel development related shit in the last couple months. But, but I haven't been, I've never really been interested in the emote, the, the custom emoji thing. Cause I already got, we already got eagles and talent and justice things anyways i might do it eventually but it's never been like people forever they wanted to have custom emojis because twitch had it but it never was i was never like oh i wish we could have this it's like now we have it and it's like oh well if i think of something i'll do it but you know your filthy talk made princess hide in a box Sicko. Who's talking about? Are you talking about I'm close? 90% feels like 20%. That was you, Zio Kim. Uh, let me see. How are we? I'm going to get out back into my vehicle because before we pick up a new job, it's occurred to me that I might be a little bit sleepy. So, calls the scales the justice things. Yeah, you know, justice things. There's a movie about living with erectile dysfunction. It's called Broke Dick Fountain. Man, that sounds like a that sounds like a really serious public awareness type of film. It's like an indie film. They play they probably have like John Lennon's Imagine playing in the background when people are talking about their their little their little dicks. Imagine all the people. Someday the size of my cock's not gonna matter. Living for today. <laughs> Yeah, hit those high notes. <laughs> Autobi Autobiographical piece. Look at these. Look at this traffic is insane. Okay, is there another way out of here? That does not involve going that way? Nope. Looks like I have to go. Oh, but there's a place I can sleep in here. Okay, that's what we'll do. Maybe I go take a nap and they will they'll clear all this shit out. The eagle, yeah, you know what, Zio Kim, the scales, was it when I raided the other night? Somebody got confused. Because they're like, wait, we raided them, and when they saw the uh, the eagles and the emojis, they're like, they're like, what? wait, how come now the custom emojis from one stream, people can use them when they raid other people, too? Just getting to drive through this. Where is this? It's like a place, a drop-off place, where you can pick up work and sleep? Is that right? Or can I just stop outside? It's really weird that there seems to be a sleep location here. Oh, yeah, apparently. Okay, let's back up again. The title of my autobiography could only be done by audiobook. It would be a slide... A slide whistle sound going down... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my bird, my bird's like, what? It's like, what? 
Sorry, I didn't mean to. it was not it was not another bird whistling. I wasn't trying to mate mate signal you. Pick up some of those lot lizards. Game of lawyer isn't sleeping alone tonight. Hopefully he can find a woman who can tolerate his pungent cabbagey odor. They're like, hey baby. You parking here tonight? Oh, what is that smell? Have you been eating spicy Korean robin with cabbage? It's like, yeah, baby. My cab's extra stinky tonight. Come on in. You'll fit right in, honey. Where was it? It just suddenly, for like one second, told me that I could... For one second, it told me that I could sleep. And then I was like out of the sleep radius. Brian Wilson emoji head. Need Mr. Wilson's permission first. Well, I don't know how... I mean, there are a ton of pixels in those emojis. I'm not... Could I... Do you think I could even create something that would be recognizable as his head? Or would it just be like generic male face A, you know? There we go. I'm gonna stop the engine. Just have a little nap. Let's see what time it is when we get up. I might sleep twice. Yeah, I don't want to start a job in the middle of the night. I'm just gonna... We'll just say I stayed extra long because I got a really great deal on a, on a lot lizard. Like, it was an overnight job. And usually those are pretty expensive because they're usually in and out an hour. But it was like... But for just $50 more, you can have it for the whole night. Like, shit, we'll get in my big... I've got this big, uh... This luxurious space back here. Uh, so i got to take advantage of that from time to time. You can have the first hawk emoji on, on YTG. It's true, but, I, but... But... Even though the eagle is not technically a hawk, I feel like it served just fine. Because, because of the, the way that the eagle is, I'm not even sure... Like, a hawk is just a brown bird without the markings. It, people might be like... Because without the distinctive eagle markings, the hawk thing might end up just looking like a... They'll be like, oh, it's, what's that? The duck? Law duck? What the hell is that? It's the law sparrow? Some sort of a, just a brown, like a finch? I don't know. Caw. All right. Um, let's check... It. We're going to check out the, uh, where the gas station is. And then we're going to get a job. Do the eagle head from the commercial as an emoji. I don't even remember the eagle head. Let's take a look at that. But. So, are, like, are there people in this, in the chat right now who are legitimately excited at the prospect of me having custom emojis? Because honestly, it's just something like, I've never, I know some people were, really wanted it, but I've, it's, I've never been excited about it. When it came out, because there are some people, as soon as it came out, they're like, oh shit, and they have all these ideas for what they're going to have for their custom emojis. We're going to go gas up at Walmart. What's going to happen now? Brad, you would actually like to see some? All right. Well, shit, if Brad wants it. I mean, this is the only reason I'm streaming American Truck Simulator tonight. It's because Brad has asked me several times. I started to feel like maybe he thought I didn't love him anymore because I never streamed it. I could make a food rear emoji. What would that be? <laughs> what is what does a food rear emoji look like? <clears throat> Hey, look, the traffic jam cleared up while I was sleeping. You can make a torn piece of paper. I don't have the torn video ready to go on this on this thing, but I do feel like... I feel like the fact that I made an actual torn music video is, is all the torn content my, that my channel requires. I don't know, I could be wrong, though. 
It could be the one ingredient that my channel's been missing. I keep talking about... Last time I was talking about going family-friendly, because I want to get... I want to get that channel growth. Oh, shit. Hey! Hey! Okay. A ramen emoji. Is there... There might already be, like, a bowl of noodles. I don't know. You can check. All you need is a bowl of noodles, and that's my ramen. I should stream City Skylines, really? I have City Skylines. Here, the the problem that I would imagine having with City Skylines is in order to properly play and enjoy the game, I would need to become so focused on the game that I would completely tune out chat. Or, I would so completely tune out the game that it would be one of those games. It'd be like a, a really bad night at XCOM where I didn't do anything for four hours. That's how I feel like it would happen if I streamed City Skylines. So, the other downside is I've had that game for like since it came out, and I, I played it. It's really good, but I haven't been in the mood for that kind of game for a long time. Like, I just haven't been. So, I have to be in the mood for it, too. Maybe if I got like in a real on-fire mood for it, I might actually try and stream it. Because that's usually how I end up streaming games for the first, for the first time on my channel. It's because I'll go, th I'll get some really strong itch to play a game. All right, come on, buddy. Here we go. Hey, right. I'm coming over. Here, I'm signaling now. Now I'm coming over. Can't you see I'm going to Walmart? be good for every 45 seconds. That's what it would be. It would be like literally once every 15 to 20 minutes, I'd be like, all right, here's my 45 seconds of gameplay. And then I would completely tune out chat. Be like, okay, I'm going to make this little subdivision, a little shopping center. And I'm going to do this. And then I'll be like, oh shit, I'm streaming. I'll, I'll look over and I realize I'm still streaming. I probably have like got, what? Oh, it's my lower freak out every time. I've probably gotten raided and shit, too. Wait, where's the gas? The gas station's over here. Alright. Alright, that's good. Maybe I'll try to get a Walmart order. Because I'd love to drive a super long haul in a Walmart with a Walmart truck. I sensed my truck cruising the highway. Hey, Ethan! I was actually, when I first started streaming, I was like, when I was showing off the paint job, like I always do, I was like, I wonder if Ethan's going to come in here tonight. Because I'm still sporting my... Here it is. For, for those... For those who weren't here when I showed it off, when I've showed it off a couple times before, Ethan is the designer of my... of the Here, the Law Hawk. Lawyer Plays Live. Do process, do wheelies, Lawhawk Logistics. Caw! And then on the side, there's the, uh, how's my driving? Please call one eight eight eight. eat shit. Well done, sir. It's, it, that's what happened. Even if I just played this game in my own time, I will almost invariably feel like streaming it once I drive, driving around in this Lawyer Plays Live truck. Because I'm like, this is too good not to share. Yeah. Stream my summer car? I never even heard of that. So, Jonathan Moore, you're going to play some American Truck Simulator now, too? I know it's contagious. It's irresistible, isn't it? That's totally understandable, Jonathan. I will not begrudge you leaving to play this this fabulous, amazing game. Oh, not a quick job. We're going to the uh, job market. We're going for the freight market. We are in Santa Fe. There's also jobs out in Albuquerque, but let's let's check out if where where I got where I can get from Santa Fe. Santa Cruz. You're fixing it right now, Miner. Mike, you still wrestling with those updates, huh? When I did a, there was a major Windows update that I did about a week ago 
and it suddenly the my computer would not recognize my graphics card it just was like oh you have a generic graphics adapter that can only do 640 by 4 480 or whatever like the most shittiest revolu resolution is okay let's see here's santa fe here's the santa fe stuff phoenix arizona Uh, okay, come on. Santa Cruz, Santa Fe. Oh, there's, uh, to Eureka, California. That's quite a haul. There's one back to Los Angeles, but it's kind of a low rate. Let's see. Where else? We want long drives with high per gallon High per, per gallon pay. 42. Oh, now we're at Santa Maria. Okay. I think I like that one. It was, uh... I think it's like one of the longest drives you could possibly have. Offered you half a week of rent credit? Um, you can't, you, I don't know if that had happened to me. And if it was, if it was definitely there, somehow their fault for not taking care of it or not, whatever, I would tell them how much I lost in food and be like, here, but that can be sticky. That can be sticky when they offer you something and trying to argue with them about it though. That can get messy. So I'm not going to. Don't take that as official advice. Okay, Santa Fe to Eureka, California. That's a long ass drive. We're gonna take it. That's about the longest drive you can currently have in American Truck Simulator. Using your integrated graphics right now. Do it to Eureka! Mm, let me see. And it's Tesla, that's why getting paid so much Tesla that's like some high-tech fancy shit Elon Musk all right let's uh let's do this BRB all right Ava sorry you got such bullshit going on over there that sucks I've discovered a recruitment agency. Uh, I don't need any more drivers right now. I think I need to buy another truck before I can recruit another driver. So we'll get there when we get there. And I still got like a $100,000 loan out. I want to pay that back first. Mm. A smoke and a stiff drink. I'm gonna wait for the light to turn. I'm not playing games. Turn green. Oh, I missed it. Elon Musk is giving me those dollar dollar bills. Come on. My turn. I get to go. When do I get to go? I want to go. You have a kitten now. You decided. What the hell does that mean, Mike? Is that a real thing? You bought a kitten? What, do you have another cat around? You're gonna start milking it? For breast milk? Lord! Some weird Challenge stuff going on. Justice! Landlord 84. What a coincidence that we were just talking about landlords. And then in comes Landlord 84 and subscribes. Let's see. Mike, oh, your nipples are sore. Oh, you are breastfeeding. Yeah, well, they might be sore what, because you you can't actually produce milk, but if you keep trying long enough, you could end up pretty sore. Oh, this is not where I need to go. You could end up having some extremely agitated nipples. That's, that's all I'm saying. You think Landlord 84 is a lum? Well, he said he's a landlord. 
So he could be the lord of of a uh, of a local area network. You think it's you think landlord sounds like uh, one of those fake names that Fuderir would make up when he's pretending not to be here? That happens is uh, Fuderir's like, oh, I gotta go take care of some stuff. All of a sudden, like some some user like Apple comes in here. I'm totally not food rear, yo. I'm totally some other dude. But, uh... But Landlord... I, I, I don't think Landlord has said anything in chat. I think Landlord just subbed. He tried to fool us with that oranges bullshit, but it was a ruse! <laughs> How do I know Mike doesn't produce milk? I don't know. I guess technically he could, but I met him. And he did not look, uh... We'll just say he did not look anatomically equipped to produce milk. But... I'm, I'm no expert, alright? I'm no expert. I can't tell someone they can or can't produce milk. I should, I should just, you know, mind my own business, you know? Your, your kitten suddenly appeared? Maybe you should try to breastfeed it. I've heard they love that shit. Yeah, they don't even care if you can't produce milk. They'll go for it anyways. Okay, we're gonna go to Eureka, California. <laughs> Mike Milk. <laughs> Take the job. Let's get a, a detailed look at this route. Oh, did I not get the... Uh, I need to get the trailer first, that's why. Shit. I'll get over to where the trailer is. I think it's that way. This is one of those. Okay. Mm. Milk El the gamer. Well, that could be the uh, that could be the brand name that you've been missing. It's just a just just a couple letters change. That could be the secret that would make you go huge, go huge in this site, man. Milk El the Gamer. <laughs> that sounds like a command. <laughs> Milk! Gallons! Gallons of justice! Wow, see, this is... This is... It's really flowing. <laughs> this is milk. Okay. What, did I just crash into this thing? Here, let's use Cheater Cam. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna hook up to it just yet. I wanna have I wanna come at it at an angle. Let's see, I think that's too tight an angle to get it. I think I can do it. I believe in myself. I believe. Yeah. I'm going to continue using cheater cam, too. Gioni the alien Australian. Let's well, see there. That's a name you could make a brand with right there. It sounds like that would be a good that'd be a good YouTube channel for someone that talks about conspiracy theories and shit. They're like UFO abductions and government cover-ups. It's like, welcome back to Johnny the Alien Stralian. Covering all your Ralian news. Around the corner, fudge is made. Yeah. It's amazing what a little imagination and a little bit of kindergarten humor just sprinkled in at just the right time and with the right nuance can be, can be the formula for greatness, Mike. <laughs> Gazelles wish they had a cheetah cam. All right, leaving. It's important not to damage the, the load as we're pulling out of the client's driveway. No accidents pulling out of the driveway, please. A lot of traffic today. 
here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. What if this, what if this Tesla deliver is to cover up for transporting a SpaceX rocket? Hey, it could be. Oh shit. It could be SpaceX is is all just a big it's just a big front for uh for privatized nuclear missiles. And I, and uh it's just a, a rocket delivery system for that. New Me this New Mexico looks authentic. It does actually. No, I noticed when we we're cuz I've driven through Albuquerque before. And it was when we did our cross country trip, it was one of the few cities that we stopped in because we spent most of that trip driving it's one of the few cities that we stopped in and when I was driving through Albuquerque um, I was like holy crap this looks how I remember Al Albuquerque looking rockets are cool I am getting paid pretty well for this you know yeah see Gianni the alien Australian if you end up if this ends up being the thing that gets you, I want a cr at least a credit. I won't go so far as demand a percentage of revenue, but somewhere you got to be like uh, associate creative producer or something. I don't know. Make up some weird, some weird position name when your channel explodes. Unless it's like a really weird freaky deaky channel that ends up. Like, the CIA starts tracking it and some shit because you're onto some really weird, like, deep, some deep government shit. Then keep my name away from it. But if it's, if it's, like, just a big financial success and it's all everyone loves it, then you use my name. All right. Hitting that road. Hitting that road, biatch. See, look at this. It's a Monday night. I'm streaming American Truck Simulator. And my viewership has remained in the mid-20s the entire time. I should I should change my channel to an American Truck Simulator dedicated channel. Because I never get... I never have sustained viewership like this with any other game aside from American Truck Simulator. Take a trip to Roswell for John. Hey, where is Roswell? Hold on. Is it on the... It is on the map. I'm already committed elsewhere, but now that I've got it on the radar, I got to remember to go to... Roswell, New Mexico. I'm going to claim that you're the sponsor of my channel and make a little video about it. Brad, you don't... You go ahead and do that anytime you want, buddy. I'd be a proud... I'd be a proud name associated with Brad's channel. Internet celebrity Brad Pritchard. Alright. Okay. Uh-oh. I saw the white van up ahead. I was all of a sudden, I'm like, wait, the CIA, they already, they're already watching? It's a setup right here. I'm probably driving some kind of damn, like a chemtrail jet truck. Chemtrails. Shit, I'm I'm transporting a UFO in the back of this thing. Let's go to Las Cruces. Oh, oh whoops. All right. Oh, I'm going too fast. Hey, hey, hey. Slow down to 55. Hit that C. All right. C is for cruise control. Sims are fun. What wheel are you using? I'm using the Logitech mouse. <laughs> it, it's a wireless mouse. I'm not using a wheel. Uh, I will say that I'm pretty impressed with how the mouse driving is. The mouse steering in, in this game is pretty good. Because most, most driving games, uh, mouse driving is kind of shit. It doesn't let you do like th like this, where you can see I'm just... I can tilt the wheel a little bit. And just hold it tilted and make slight adjustments. Usually mouse steering doesn't let you do that. So, but if I go all, all in, all balls in, 
and, and to do an American Truck Simulator channel, I'll probably get a wheel at some point. Make it authentic. Using the, the homemade wheel that he made from an old Frisbee. The wheel I'm using is the power of my imagination. Can you roll your truck? That's not how you get paid, Mike. That's not how you get paid. I don't think you can, though. To be honest, were you just... You were just... Were you just asking if it could happen, or were you asking if I would? Uh, I think I want to go west, right? But I don't think you can roll your truck in this. I think you can just crash and get, like, jackknife and stuff. I don't think you can actually overturn. I could... Maybe they've added that at a certain point, but for all the horrific shit I've done to my, done during this game, I've never actually rolled or ended up on my side. Now, a couple times in the name of science, I've tried. Looks pretty good for mouse streaming. Yeah. I mean, aside from the fact that I drive like a damn maniac half the time because I'll be looking over at chat and I'll miss stuff. Um, because I played, I don't think, I don't think Euro Truck Simulator had as good a steering as this. I don't remember it being this good. Because I remember with, when I played Euro Truck Simulator, I was trying to use my Xbox 360 controller. And I felt like that was fidgety as hell. Like it just was, really wasn't working for me. But this for being a mouse, the way that the actual controls feel, it really, it's the closest I've experienced on just a mouse and keyboard. It's the closest game I've ever experienced to what it sort of feels like to steer in real life. Ethan, you can actually roll it? I didn't, I did not know that. Holy, now has that always been the case? Because I'm noticing, I haven't played this in a, in a few months, and I'm noticing all sorts of new stuff in the game that I hadn't seen before. So it could also cause, be because I'm playing the New Mexico expansion now, too. You're asking if it, Oh, shit! See, I was looking at chat and I wasn't looking for it. Uh, Steam Community Shared Files. I can't look at that now, but what was that? What's that link? Let's name your truck. Oh, merging. Kaiser, so we can see it roll. Like a Kaiser roll. Oh, Nick, with the puns. Uh oh, Zio Kim's here. She hates, she, she hates puns, Nick. She hates them. I think it, she was probably okay, but then Dark Jake used them too much. And now Zio Kim gets very upset when she hears puns. It was a bun pun. <laughs> um. It's European Truck Simulator 2, but the same physics. Huh. We could all chip in and get me a steer control, a, a steering wheel controller. You could. Now see, that sort of thing, if, if I did really start doing a lot of American Truck Simulator, like it became my most streamed game for like months at a time, that's the only time I would really push for like hey let's let's set a donation goal for a decent wheel you know but because i stream it like once every two months i don't feel uh i don't feel justified to ask for you guys to buy me a nice wheel that's all i'm saying especially since i'm relatively happy with the mouse wheel but if i did play this game all the time i would definitely having a real wheel would be nice i, I, I have a feeling I would, it would be nicer than using the mouse. That's all I'm saying. Um, okay, you know what? I need to, I just realized I'm, I'm kind of stiff. I'm getting like a Charlie horse. So I need to get up for a second and stretch and take a break. Let me see. And I need to use restroom, so. <laughs> all right, break time, here we go. Sit back and enjoy these smooth tunes because it's potty time.
Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to more American Truck Simulator here with Gaming Lawyer. The Lawyer Plays Live, American Truck Simulator. With Lawhawk Logistics, your one-stop shop for all of your trucking and shipping needs. Remember, Lawhawk Logistics has over 17 hours of shipping experience, so you can be safe and assured that your cargo will get where it needs to go. He'll never I'll never cross the median or go on the wrong side of the road or crash into the vehicle because gaming lawyers are professional. Law logistics has to live up to a strict standard. Let me see. Let's see, I'm missing chat here. Catch up with chat. I'm standing up right now. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay on break for another five minutes or so. But um, I'm just gonna stand, stretch a little bit while I'm doing it. Um, who we're talking about? Natalie? Imbruglia? Does she have more than one song? Nick, you don't know Nick? You you should be our expert. See, Ava, Ava knows. She has more, she has a few albums. Mm, you hope she's in this game? She'll hire. Oh, it just takes them for a warehouse full of unsold CDs. I think you've underestimated her. Brad. She's a big, she's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Googling with G-Law featuring crunchy snacks. <laughs> that's a thing that happens sometimes. Uh, but if you see Bugs Bunny on the road, tell him how to get to Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Very, very quiet. We're hunting rabbits. You're, yeah, that's true, Nick. You are just an expert in requesting torn. So, and I see that Johnny the Alien Australian apparently knows Ava and is familiar with her circumstances. So, it's good. It's a little, our little circle of love here, a little community here. Has Ava told you that she's my favorite? I, it's kind of a secret. I don't tell other people. But Ava's, Ava's my, secretly my favorite person here. Did you not see my link? It's a screenshot of a truck in American Truck Simulator 2 taking a nap. Well, let me go back up and take a look at that. I couldn't look at it while I was driving before. I'll take a look at it now. Oh, yeah, it is. That is a truck that is on its side off the edge of the road. Okay, well, now I've got video evidence. The trucks can, in fact, roll. I'm surprised as hell that I've never rolled a truck. Because y'all have seen how I drive sometimes, huh? Yeah? All right. Oh, you're, oh, you're a fellow Aussie mod on Kingstream. All right, cool. Yep. Kink is a man, he, he's one of the nexus, the nexuses, is it nexi, of the YouTube gaming community. He's, he is a, is a point at which many, many people intersect, for sure. Let's see, for my sample size of two, I'm going to assume that all Australians know each other. <laughs> Nick is very, he's very, uh analytical that way. He doesn't jump to conclusions. He always needs, he needs sufficient data. It's one of the things I respect about him. He's got a very sober analytical mind that I appreciate. Every time I see a truck go by, it reminds me of the leader of the Autobots in the Transformer. Oh yeah. Optimus Prime. Autobots transform and roll out. What is the plural of Nexus? It's not Nexi? Nexum? <laughs> ne is it really? Nexuses. Sometimes it's like Freud said, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Sometimes the poem of a word is just putting S's on the end. Autobots roll out. All right, we're get back. I'm gonna get, get back, get my microphone. My microphone has been erect in a fully upright position, but I gotta sit down so I can get <laughs> crawl back, pack up my semi, and crawl back in. 
Got to get 90% of the way. 90% of the way in again with my semi. <laughs> You're not saying nexuses? It sounds terrible? I don't know. I guess you just really enjoy being wrong, Brad. Don't worry, I won't hold it against you. Next side does sound better, to be honest. Maybe if, if I ever start a company, I'll just call it next eye. We'll see what happens. Since it's not a real word, I might be the only one. All right. Let me see. Let me refresh my memory. Okay, we're in the middle of the road. It's a long journey. Oh, we're going to get go through Barstow, get those hubcaps stolen. Bakersfield. Bypassing Fresno, going up to five. This is quite a drive. My goodness. All right. Fish and fishes are both the correct plural form of a singular word. Fish. Yeah, it's like, how many fish did you catch? I used to say fishes, but I... But I thought it was actually incorrect, and I just said it to be funny. I didn't realize it was grammatically proper. Well, so much for me thinking I was being funny. I was just... Anyways. I thought I was... I thought I was playing fast and loose with the English language. I guess I wasn't. Don't bring up fish again. <laughs> Are you afraid I'm going to start talking about fish tacos? No, that's behind us now. That's behind us now. How am I doing so far, Dark Lynn? I'm doing good. We drove from, uh... Were you here when I was talking about how I didn't have New Mexico expansion for this game yet? Um, and as I was talking about that I was going to wait for New Mexico to go on sale, Chris Plays Games bought me the expansion while I was streaming it. So now I've got New Mexico. So that's what the first thing I did was I... I took a job from LA to New Mexico. And now we're going from New Mexico to Northern California. It's basically the longest, almost the longest trucking route you can possibly have in this game right now is what I'm doing. Let's see, you say fishes when you're talking about multiple species of fish. Oh, shit. okay, back. Uh, <laughs> the English language is a strange, strange thing. You like to say laundries when you have a lot of laundry to do? I think the only time I would say laundries is if I was referring to businesses where you can do laundries. Like, we're going to take this to the laundry. It's like, how many laundries are there to choose from? Well, there's Bob's Laundry, and then there's Clean It Fast Laundry. Or, I'm making these up, but you get the idea. So many laundries. Carlsbad. Yeah, technically, Hobbs or Carlsbad to, uh, to Eureka or Hornbrook. These are the, the farthest you can get up. And Eureka is probably the farthest because at least Hornbrook is up to five, which is a major road. But getting up to Eureka involves, I mean, the 101 is sort of major, but it gets really windy and shit once you get off this part of the country. But yeah, this drive is about almost as long as you can possibly have a drive in this game. Oh, oh shit. I wish you could play Space Truckin' by Deep Purple. I don't know if I know that song. That was one thing I was thinking of, I was saying I would do eventually is completely throw copyright shit out the window and just have like a uh, have like some sort of a, a road trip playlist for my streams but that I could sing along to. Like on the road again, which I only know, I only know like two actual lines to. Well, <clears throat> Boyer Logistics was hauling gear for Deep Purple on the country fair circuit. Is that where you can find them these days? I know I found a lot of secondhand bands on those. I just saw a foreigner once at a fair. You see good stuff at those places. And actually, when I saw Foreigner, it was uh, it was the early 90s, so they were still sort of... It was sort of 
within five years of them actually being popular with the kids, you know? Back, bagpipe music? How would bagpipe mu music be contrary to relaxing? It depends on the type of music, but, you know. I guess bagpipe music wasn't bagpipe the bagpipe stuff originally developed to use in war to scare the enemy like they'd have a bunch of people playing the bagpipe as they're marching through the fog and, and like uh, the other army would be like dropping bricks in their pants because it sounds so like they're getting attacked by a million people with a million little harmonicas or something I don't know or something like that Gotta go for a bit and help Twist. Is he making fish tacos, Ava? For reals? Or does he just want to eventually? Now I want fish tacos real bad. Okay, we're not gonna talk about fish tacos. I don't have the stuff to make them right now. Yay, fish tacos. Go make the hell out of those fish tacos, Twisty. Tell, tell him G-Law approves. And now G-Law wants to come to your house for dinner. We gotta make this highway between Los Angeles and Australia so I can deliver some some uh, stuff to you guys and then I can eat some of Twisty's famous, now world famous fish tacos because there's probably people from at least five different countries in here right now hearing about this. Zio Kim. What have you got against fish tacos? Have you ever tried one? Especially from Rubio's. Probably not. Are you just... Do you actually have something against them, or are you just tired of hearing about them? She's like, God damn it. Some very passionate anti-fish taco rhetoric happening in my chat. I might need to make a new rule that, uh... We don't need fish tacoists in my chat. We don't need that kind of Hostility. Yeah. You're just tired to hear about it. Okay. I did talk about it a lot, including going into uh, very tremendous detail on how how I make them and that sort of thing. <clears throat> Should I go back to talking about hot dogs wrapped in bacon? I think what I think the takeaway from this is I'm starting to get hungry, which means probably when I get out of the stream. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out some food to eat. On the road again. G Law singing in his truck again. It's nearly Christmas and he's moving into his truck. Oh, wait. Were you trying to give me lyrics? Oh, I can bypass the way station. Have a safe journey. Sweet. No way station for me, bitch. See you later, suckers. They're never going to see Elon Musk's nuclear rocket that I'm transporting across state lines. I probably will have ramen noodles, Zio Kim, even though that's what I had for dinner. We have a couple different types at home right now, so I, all I'll do is I'll have the other type of ramen noodles for my late night dinner. Maybe that's... Whoa! Okay, hold on. Back. Let's get it under control, G-Law. Get it under control. You got a long drive ahead of you. You can't afford to be swerving all over the road like some kind of maniac. <laughs> this channel needs a custom fish taco emoji. But I don't know. You know, maybe just to piss Zio Kim off, <laughs> so people could throw him up there. Nolan Wolf, you got it. Hello, G Law, and call call to you, sir. Welcome to my amazing and highly entertaining, crowd-pleasing, depth-defying American Truck Simulator stream. Everybody loves American Truck Simulator. Yep, there's bacon. There's bacon and hot dogs. And really, I, if you try to do a bacon-wrapped hot dog emoji, I feel like you just they just couldn't get enough of that detail in to let you know. So I think for bacon hot dogs, that's the way to do it run over the cones 
Alright, well, that's too late now. I think I could maybe get away with running over some cones without them deducting it from my overall fee. Because you know how I feel about it when they take money out of my overall fee. I can't stand it. I don't like getting fines. I don't like getting unnecessary fees. I'm a little, I jump in my seat a little bit every time I get a notification that they've removed some money for my, uh, for my business loan that I'm paying back. Gotta go. All right, Ava, have a great night. Enjoy your fish tacos with your fish and the tacos from Twisty. And we'll see you, we'll see you later. I apologize in advance if I don't stream Thursday. It's, it's a wait and see proposition at this point. I think, I think I will, but there are factors. There are certain factors at play where I might not. Salmon's your personal favorite. Oh, no, not for a fish taco. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like salmon. Oh, no, I'm talking about fish tacos again. Zio Kim, close your ears. It's only going to take 30 seconds. The prototypical fish taco needs a white fish, preferably deep fried and beer battered. And that's, that's any other kind of fish taco in my, according to my tastes and preferences, they're doing it wrong. All right, Zio Kim, you can open your ears again. I, I finished talking about it. <laughs> Might as well. Now see, pork rinds are, are, for some reason, that's the sort of thing I can't get behind. Pork, pork rinds, like, I've eaten them on occasion and I'm kind of like, oh, these are good. And then I stop and think about what I'm eating. And I don't know what it is. It's just like, I can have, you know, bacon and stuff and I don't freak out, but pork rinds, when it's just like, it turns into that sort of foamy, thick, foamy stuff in your mouth after you've been chewing on it. There's just something wrong with that. It just doesn't feel right to me. <clears throat> uh oh. Wait. Zio Kim, I told you not to listen. She said, he doesn't want to hear about it. I'm killing your XCOM addiction. What does that mean? By not playing it enough? <laughs> well, I can't please everybody. Can't do it. Don't kid yourself. There's pig skin in hot dogs. Well, hey, at least when they put it in hot dogs, see, if they do it the right way, <clears throat> I don't mind. Like, once it gets in that hot dog format, I'll take it just about any way. And be like, just don't tell me what's in it, and I'm going to enjoy this stuff. As long as it has this, roughly the same consistency that I'm expecting, that's fine. But the thing is with pork rinds, is for me, it's sort of like I'm eating a, like a bacon-flavored Cheeto. Except once it's in my mouth and it's all... It seems like it almost grows in volume when it's wet and in my mouth. It expands into this slimy foam. And then I start thinking about what it is I'm eating. And it's like... It, I don't know. I think it's it's because it it makes me think of it. It forces my attention to the fact that there's something unusual happening in my mouth. Whereas you put it into a hot dog, I don't know what the hell might be in there. If it feels right and it tastes right, that's it. I'm, I don't think any more about it. Pig lips and other... Hey, that's fine pig lips and all that stuff. I think I mentioned before, like, one of my favorite, like, breakfast meats is Scrapple. Look that shit up if you don't know what it is. That's like, it's basically all the leftover parts from the pig. Like, I'm pretty sure they stick tails and, like, sphincters and all sorts of shit in there. And they mush it up into these patty things, and you slice them. Like, it's like spam shaped. Like these, uh, long rectangular things and you slice them up fry them up oh my gosh and they get crispy on the outside like soft on the inside so good so delicious but if you actually look at what's in it, it's like eyeballs and it, it's all everything that they're gonna throw out they just puree the shit out of it and put it into this block this like almost gelatinous block of unidentifiable 
stuff. It's good though. Have you ever had it, Zio Kim? It's so delicious. In fact, now I want. I'm craving Scrapple. God damn it. I don't know if my local store has Scrapple either. I know they're, they're around LA. A mush of pork scraps and trimmings combined with cornmeal and wheat flour, often buckwheat flour and spices. Yes. That's what it is. But what do they mean by scraps? I'm pretty sure it is like eyeballs and tails and sphincters and assholes and intestines, dicks. I don't know what. Pig dicks? I'm not sure. But it's really good. There's really nothing else like it. Way once you fry it up in the way that you're when you cook it in, in, a, in its proper way, there's really nothing. It's really not. It's not really like sausage. It's like a totally. It feels like a totally different texture and flavor and everything. Hog offal such as heart, liver, and other trimmings. See, it's that other trimmings asterisk. That's where you get like pig dicks and assholes and shit in there. I bet. I don't know. I just, it pleases me to think for some reason that I'm eating pig, pig dicks and assholes. I don't know if it's true, but just for the shock value. To show that I'm open-minded and I'll try, I'll try things, new things. If you told me it was full of pig dicks and assholes, I would be okay with it. <clears throat> spam is filet mignon compared to Scrapple. But I like Scrapple so much better than Spam. <laughs> Knuckle skins. Oh no. It's a very weird knuckle skins. It's a very weird specific body part. Okay. I see there's some sort of I'm gonna slow down now. So there's some sort of okay. no oh, shit. I told you I was coming over. Looks like the popo didn't notice. How did that happen and I didn't get a collision fee? Alright, well... I shouldn't ask too many questions, should I? <laughs> For brother? <laughs> the taco that bites back. Was that shark tacos? I never had that. I'm coming over. That's right, guys. You stay back while I make my lane change. Probably gonna need to find a place to rest soon. Let me see. Where's my uh Okay, looks like there's gonna be a place to rest up ahead. I hope it's not too much of a pain in the ass to get in and out of. But looks like the next exit is is where I'm gonna stop for the night, because my guy well where my trucker's gonna stop for the night. Because he's getting sleepy. Brakes work, but I thought I was going to be able to get over without having to slow down as much as I did. But it turns out everything was a mess. Everything was a mess there. I made par Parmesan and garlic chicken subs. That sounds awesome, man. The sunset is pretty. Yeah. Where is it? Did I miss it? Oh, I was just... That's one thing when you're playing this game, you, especially... I feel like maybe if I had a wheel, that's where I would... I, because... It would feel a little more natural. I wouldn't need to be quite as attentive to my steering because it would seem more like the muscle memory of actual driving would kick in. Because uh, while I'm playing this game, I'm frequently not noticing some of the tremendously awesome vistas. All right, here we go. Do you like fish dicks? You must love, you must be a gay fish. You like fish dicks. Alright. No, we're still talking about fish. Zio Kim said no. Can do this. How about head cheese? Nope, never done that. I forget what it is. But it didn't sound. I know it's been explained to me in the past. And for some reason, I just was like, nope, not going for that. Okay, good. I can I can fill up on gas while I'm here, too. Mm. 
Where do I sleep? In here? Oh, yes. I'm gonna sleep right here. What was the honking sound? Oh, looks like my other driver just made four grand. Yep. All right. I think I need to get to the gas station. I need to go over here. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Uh. Oh. Nope. 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 All right. Never happened. Where are the lot lizards at? Oh, I forgot to role play about the lot lizards. I'm sure they're over there. A after all, that's why I went for the extra big cabin. Was because I was anticipating having all sorts of awesome lot lizard role playing adventures. <laughs> what is that? Fat gel with heart suspended in it? Oh, that's, that's head cheese. Yeah, that is, I mean, maybe if I tried it, I would feel differently about it, but uh, at no point when someone has explained what head cheese is to me that I think it would be a good idea for me to consume some of it. I could, but I, you know, I felt that way about other things that I've declined to, to try and ended up liking it, so who knows. Slimy sour puke. Maybe it's the greatest thing I ever had. Is it no head cheese is awful. <laughs> uh, go on. We'll be right back. You're preparing to go out. All right, man. Don't take too long. You might miss some of this amazing truck in action, though. Be careful. Wait, is this the way? Yeah, it's back this way. Best cheese ever is Colby Jack with bacon bits in it. See, that sounds like something I can endorse. I, but I think my next big cheese eating adventure is going to be the place that Noxire found for me. That's a poutinery. Stones? Smokes? Or whatever. I think it's smokes, poutinery. There's one in Hollywood that's really easy for me to get. You, hey! I had right away, you dumb son of a bitch. Okay. He's a popo, so I can't really... Can't, I can't complain too loudly, but still. I had right away. Just because I'm a truck, he thinks he can cut me off. What an asshole. He'll so discriminate again. Alright. Back on the road. But yeah, I want to get some of that... That that poutine with the cheese curds and gravy. And the... And, uh, I'm thinking the first time I might just get the basic poutine, but I'm really interested in having the one with bacon, because that's one of the things they has with bacon. Really good. Smoked Gouda is the best cheese. Camembert? Camem I don't even know that cheese. No, uh, the again. Sometimes I like the softer cheese, like brie, and there are certain other cheeses that are like brie, but they don't taste as brie -y. They're good. Can't remember the names off the head. But I like a nice soft cheese. That's what we, we go on picnics, so I can feel like, like just get the bread and the cheese and some grapes and some st stuff, and then I can feel like I'm the authentic, like uh, the authentic poser who's being cultured, watching Shakespeare in the park, eating my cheese and my bread, and my grapes. They have cheese with maggots in it. Uh, I think I'll skip that one. That's funny how they can market shit like that. Somehow people think like, oh, it looks like I have to pay extra because this one has extra maggots in it. You're a sucker. So if there's maggots in it, it means something. In my book, that means something went really wrong in the, ma the cheese making pro process. That's all. Cheese with calcium crystals. Oh, shit. Whoop. Yep. It's like brie with a much stronger taste. Okay, no, I haven't had that. 
I had an uncle that used to like Limburger cheese. Uh, and that sounded like a, it's like a crap out of a dead man's asshole. You smell from like 10 feet away. I don't know. I, that cheese, I never ventured. It's the only cheese that I've ever had access to that I have not ventured to try. Because it smelled so awful from a distance that... Uh, <laughs> I, it was famous. He's my great uncle. He was he was famous in the family because he ate this cheese. It was like the thing that one of the first things if you didn't know is Uncle Joe. If you didn't know Uncle Joe and someone was describing describing him to you, it was one of the first things they would tell you about him. Rotten feet. Okay, maybe that's a better description. Zio Cam, because that also is an appropriate description. Maggot cheese is illegal. So why is it expensive? Because it's, it's black market? I don't know. There's no accounting for taste sometimes. You can only eat cheese in the park if you do the stereotypical French laugh. Oh, like that? Oh, jeez. No, that's like the one... Like, Because there's free Shakespeare in the park shows every summer in L.A. And for some reason, almost every time we do one of those... I gotta get, I gotta get my, uh, my brie or other similar soft cheese, my bread, and some cherry tomatoes, because I, I like eating, when I eat the brie and the bread, I like having cherry tomatoes, so it doesn't, I don't get too, you know, gummed up from all the cheese and bread, and, uh, and some fruit, and then, what else? Usually it's some sort of, like, some sort of chocolate bar with, like, blocks of chocolate. That is my perfect picnic food. Stank foot cheese? Yeah, blue cheese. I'm okay with blue cheese. Alright, why are these guys all slowing down? No, but we're good. Okay. Do you like cheese with Romeo and Juliet's whining? You know, the troops that we've watched have never done Romeo and Juliet. They've done a Midsummer Night's Dream a bunch of times. Alright, get in their truck. Get in their car. This car wants in front of me real bad. If you're gonna do it, you gotta speed up, though. Oh, I'm going over. They changed the speed trap. Okay. Now I'm good. I'm under the speed limit. I don't even remember. I was, a, I was a little bit pissed off last time we went because we ended up sitting so far away that I couldn't actually hear the play. But I still enjoyed the fact that my wife and I were sitting in a park where there were people performing a play. And I was eating my... I was eating my brie cheese. But I did... I forget what it was. Maybe it was the bread that I got. was in a noisy wrapper. And it was some, like... There's some dude... There's some dude, like looking at me. He looked like the typical like he's just a rich dude that likes coming to Shakespeare in the park. He's probably one of the big fish, like one of the big donators that allows them to be. He's the guy that probably donates $20,000 a year and he thinks he's some big shit. He's sitting in front of me give me a stink eye because I have crinkly French bread package. It almost ruined my whole trip. The fact that it's been months and I'm still remembering it or should show you how, how I was not pleased but still I ate my French bread anyways, damn it. So I opened my mouth real big so I could see while I was chewing it. Just to just to be obnoxious. Uh have I ever tried sake? Sure, yeah I have. My wife gets sake all the time. I'm not a big alcohol guy. I think we've said this before. Um not a big alcohol guy, so My wife is, after she saw my reaction to this, I got this Frangelico hazelnut liqueur, and she tried it. It's kind of pricey. Uh, and she's like, we just need to get you some, like, butterscotch snot, snops. Schnapps. So that's probably, that's probably all you need. Get some cheap butterscotch, butterscotch schnapps. 
Why am I having a hard time saying that? Anyways. I'd rather enjoy my cheese without Shakespeare's comedies. Blech. Yeah, it's mostly comedies, the ones that we see. Much to do about nothing we've seen. There's, uh, I think we saw Tempest. I don't know. Sometimes I enjoy them. Mostly I enjoy the, act the way the actors perform them. Because that's why I learned about... I hated Shakespeare in college. I, and I had to take like a whole year where we basically read almost everything the dude ever wrote because I was an English major. Um, and then I, but I used to just try to read the play, so that made me extra pissed off because I couldn't, couldn't understand what the hell they were talking about. So, but then I started watching when I was in college. So I went to the media library and they had BBC recordings of every Shakespeare play ever made. And I started watching those and I realized like, when I saw them acted out, I actually kind of liked them. And I could actually kind of relate to some of them. They were fun. I still was never totally on board, though. I think, like, for that course, we had to wrap up by writing some sort of overarching analysis of Shakespeare, like, different tracing different themes or whatever. And my overall analysis was, like, negative. I think I was basically... I just found something to bitch about that I could... Some theme that I didn't like that I could trace through all the plays. I don't remember what it was. But it was just me, basically. It was my way of saying, you shouldn't have made me read all this Shakespeare, because now I'm going to write a final paper. I'm going to write, like, a 20-page research paper explaining why Shakespeare is not enjoyable to read. Does he know counter song? I need to be able to dispel mind-affecting effects. Let me see. Oh, shit. Slowly getting over this hill. I'm gonna pass this other truck. This is a thing that's gonna happen. Oh, son of a bitch. Hey, I'm going 55. How come he's going faster than me? Stupid. He's illegal. He's doing... Okay, I'm breaking the law. You're not... I'm not getting behind you. Alright? Alright? I'm not getting- this is a truck race. Throw- Throw down the flags, it's the damn truck race. What? Son of a bitch, I'm losing the truck race! Alright, hey. It's time for me to get over. Okay, I lost the truck race. Alright. I know. I have to get a- I have to accept my loss with grace. <laughs> that was one of the most exciting things that happened all night, though, wasn't it? Had a big-ass truck race. But I hate when you say when two trucks are next to each other. I think what I hate worse is somehow when I end up in between two trucks on, like, a three-lane highway, or somehow when a truck gets a little bit too big for its britches, decides it's going in the fast lane, and somehow I end up between two trucks doesn't happen often, but that's terrible. You're so disappointed that I lost the race. <laughs> the guy's pedals on the right. If you want exciting, fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> uh, what was this? Oh, vehicle inspection. Well, they were all nice last time about me not having to do one, but this time, I guess... My luck was going to run out sooner or later. Does that mean I'm crossing state lines again soon? Let me see. Where am I anyways? Oh, I'm already in California. All right. It's a lot of California left. Row, row. All right. Oop, time to, I need to be going 15 miles an hour in here. Ooh. All right, here we go. Pulling up to the scales. See, the ones in New Mexico have a nice, friendly guy that's there. It looks all like he cares about you and he wants you to feel welcome. These ones are all impartial. They're just like, pull up and do it yourself. Fine. 
Okay, got it. <laughs> if I play automatic truck simulator? I don't know, I guess it'd just be like a business sim. Where you just... You just buy the trucks and send them on their routes and then see what kind of money you can make. I don't know. Maybe be like, uh... Like, people would still will just want to pretend like the good old days when you could drive a truck. You know, like, uh... You know, like, when you want to play a game like Red Dead Redemption, you run around on horses and there's the age of the stagecoach and all that shit. I don't do drugs. Who said drugs? It's called the hammer. <laughs> the hammer lane. To pass inspection, enter. I wish that's how school was. No. It's never that. Oh, I'm speeding again. Alright, slow down, G-Law. Slow down. Get down to 55 and then hit cruise control. That's how we're going to do it. There we go. Yep. Oh, hey, there's a plane. I saw a little biplane flying over. I think it's a mail plane. Because of the little balls. I don't do drugs. I leave. Yeah. You know, the lot lizards, they'll, you get a lot more bang for your buck, literally. If, uh, if you make sure that they got, they're the kind of lot lizards that got good drugs. Not for me, for them, you know. And they don't care if you're only 90% or 20%, whatever it is, you know, they're going to have a good time no matter what. So they don't give you any, they don't give you any, you know, bad customer service, any attitude. Very punny, the <laughs> Zio Kim. <sighs> I just noticed I had a, my coffee mug from this morning is still on my desk. I instinctively reached for it. What was that? That was my loan installment. Every time that happens, I'm like, Bullshit! I didn't do anything! It's like, oh, okay, it's my load. Ooh, I'm up to enough money that I think I can pay my loan off. Once I finish this job, I will feel... I will feel, uh... Confident. So I think my loan... Let me see. Just curious now. Um... I only owe 89000 still on my loan. So, I should pay that off. Wait, I should pay that off right now. Can I do it right from here while I'm driving? Ma'am. Repay it. Hells to the yeah. It's the internet age, baby. I just paid off my business loan. Oh. Seems like you pay for your loan every other day. That's one awful loan. Whoa, shit. Happens one of these days, streaming and driving is gonna get me. I'm gonna end up on the side of the road flipped over. It won't just be an abstract concept that happens to other people. All right, slow down, slow down. You made me slow down, now it's gonna take me five minutes to get back up to speed again, assholes. Maybe I've been playing too much GTA. I I kind of feel I've been getting an itch to play GTA again too. When I started thinking about playing this, I was also thinking about playing GTA. But I don't think I want to stream GTA. It's a little too. It's a little bit, you know. It's not family friendly the way I like to be. You know, I am. Oh, hello, Popo. Coming over. I'm coming over driver wasn't going to let me in. What a dick. Alright, coming over all the way.
GTA's been done a lot. Well, the only reason I bring it up is because, you know, sometimes people just think if I'm going to be playing a game, I should stream it. If I'm getting into a game, I should stream it. And sometimes that's how I end up streaming stuff. It's like, oh, that's just the game that I'm playing right now. Um, but when it comes to GTA, if I get in a GTA mode where that's like the main game I'm into, I'm probably not going to end up streaming for that reason. Not because it's been done a lot. I kind of don't care if it's some, if it's something that I want to stream. Like if I all of a sudden decided I was like really into Overwatch or if I, if I got PUBG and I'm like, oh shit, I love PUBG. I'd probably stream it and it, it would just be sort of, you know, secondary. It wouldn't really be related to the fact of whether it was something everyone's doing or not doing. But, you know. But certain games I like playing by myself, you know. Like when I play this game, when I get really into the Lot Blizzard roleplay, that I like to do alone. I don't like anyone to see me. Hear me, what I'm doing. Because I like role-playing. All the way, baby. Okay. Get down here. Alright. And a smooth transition. Check. You don't really enjoy watching GTA streams? Yeah, it, it's one of the... I don't... I haven't really watched much in the way of GTA streams either, to be honest. Wait, is that a stop? Oh, I'm going too fast! Alright. Speed trap. Now I'm going to, way too slow. Stupid speed trap! You should play The Sims and just leave them on auto and chat. Hey, that would not... That maybe not, wouldn't be a terrible idea. I mean, I could jump in sometimes, but that would be a kind of a cool game because that's one of the problems when I play The Sims is I get too compulsively... Sometimes I decide I'm going to play a game where I'm, I'm more or less, like, hands-off and just see how they do, and I never end up doing it. I end up micromanaging every damn last thing they do. Like, no, they don't even... Nobody in my household takes a piss unless I've clicked on a toilet first. That's how it works. But, yeah, just play a sim stream where I'm not controlling anything and I... <laughs> the, the household can run off the proverbial road. They all lose their jobs, starve to death, piss themselves constantly. I am the piss god! Nobody pisses without my say-so. At the blink of an eye, I can make all the toilets in this house disappear. Honor me and respect me. Uh, oh my guy's starting to get... Uh, he's got a ways to go before he's totally needs rest. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is... When my truck, when my guy stops for his next rest stop, it's probably when I'm going to stop driving because we're getting we're getting close to midnight g -Law, god of the bathrooms for my favored followers I will make a house full of restrooms there will be a toilet every place the eye settles its gaze shall be a toilet but for those who displease me there will be many pee pee and poopy pants running around the house miserable crying Cranky. If I'm, but I'll still let them have baths so they can piss themselves, but then they can, like, clean it off in their shower or whatever. I'm not a cruel god of the toilet. You think me? I never really considered playing The Sims, but I like The Sims. That might actually be fun just to try out. Because I can... I've seen people play The Sims, and I've actually kind of enjoyed watching... Like, people doing sim streams. That's gonna be kind of fun. Alright. You guys gonna make me slow down? Really? Really? I don't want to get into a truck race. We all know what happened last time I tried that shit. 
but if you guys are going to be all slow like this, I might, I might need to do it. Oh, wait. Nope, the moment's gone. We're going slightly uphill, and I can no longer accelerate. Thank you, slow vehicles in front of me, for screwing it all up. Well, let's get back on the road, shall we? Speaking of rest stops, I should get a general idea of planning my next one. I don't, I don't think I need to worry about it so soon. You know what we'll do? I like this one. We're going to get, we're going to make our transfer to the five. And then this looks like one of those easy, those easy stops where you just roll in and roll out. So that's the plan. That'll put me probably a few minutes after midnight. That's okay. I didn't start streaming until, you know, I didn't start at eight tonight. So if I go a couple minutes over, hey, tumbleweeds. Watch out for the tumbleweeds. Those are awesome. I love that. It's just like driving in California for reals. You've heard the newest Sim game. It wasn't good. Never played it. Uh, I like Sims 4. It's good. Um, there, there are some... It's You know, it's kind of sad because I liked Sims 3 a lot. Because especially the open world, the way that the open world worked, where there was no loading screens when you left the house or went across town. And now they've got the house rolled into little neighborhoods where there's only a few buildings clustered together uh, before you need loading screens. But for me, at least, the loading screens were quick. And one thing that started happening, especially once you got a few expansions in Sims 3, um, it was, it, it started sort of, I think, becoming too much for, like, the program to, to coherently present all, everything that it needs to present. And so, you end up having a lot of, like, serious performance issues and, and, uh, sometimes errors and sh shit. So, the, one of the big criticisms of Sims four is that they rolled back what seemed to be a step forward like some steps forward made by sims 3 namely the open world was the big one that i was upset about but now like if you go back and install sims 3 you get all these warnings from ea from maxis saying only in like because i own like six expansions and they're like only install a couple expansions at a time it's like, well, what the hell? I want to play with all of them. But it's like the game is just unstable. So I think they've... And then also when they first start out, every Sims game starts off where you know every few months there's going to be a new expansion of some kind. So a lot of content that is... Like when the last Sims era ends, a lot of content um, feels like it's stripped. So that also pisses people off. I need to get over Sims 3 was one you just wanted. Well, Sims 4 is still, you know, it's still open world-ish. It's a lot more open than, like, Sims 2 was, but it's not... The thing that was cool about Sims 3 was basically... You could sort of realistically control all of your family members doing different things around town simultaneously. It was somewhat seamless to hop. You got one guy at home, you know, watching TV, another person at the park playing a game chess and someone else at the library studying and you could sort of coherently play all that at the same time and when you have different areas where you you can only play in one little zone at a time it, it takes that away from you which kind of sucks sims on the i've never played a console version of sims you see sims on the ps4 is buggy mess i always in the past at least console versions of the sims were always different they were always like severely scaled down versions of the game so i'm not sure what the current gen is like but sims is one of over the years has been one of my most played games um it's been a long time since i've gotten into a real like sims addiction mode like it's probably been gosh 
since I really got into Sims. Might have been like the first year or two that Sims 3 came out, which was like 2008, 2009. Um, but I get the itch. Both my wife and I get the itch sometimes. We'll get really into it for a little while. I played Sims earlier. I think it was the beginning of this year. We got into a Sims mode for a while. We had some fun. We, we tend to start playing it at the same time. Like, if one of us starts playing, the other one will look and be like, Oh no, I kind of want to play. So, our our sims, our little sim spurts seem to happen around the same time. You'll get this sim 4 in a month or two. Let's see, I would make one sim in sims 3 and then work to make them amazing skills and then never play them again. I never... I never did that. You, I, a lot of times I would start with one, and then I would end up, you know, having them whatever, start a family or, you know, whatever, and then all of a sudden, you know, I'd end up playing that for for a couple weeks until you start getting multiple generations, and then all of a sudden you got too many people in the house and it starts being unrealistic. It's like, you don't want three generations of the family, like a whole family tree living in a house, but then you don't want to... You start not wanting to send anybody out. So, what ends up happening, usually when I stop, it's because I've gotten attached to the second or third generation characters, and then usually at a certain point, I start getting less inspired to create new characters and make them unique. And so, when the last of my, the sort of characters that I really were attached to dies, and then there's a generation of like the next generation I'm a little bit more indifferent to, I'll just sort of lose interest. Making me amazing at piano, watching to do it at max speed. <laughs> Alright. Gonna try to get um Armello as your next game. I actually have that game. Um I mentioned my friends in San Diego that we go and uh see every few months to play board games because Armello is basically like you know, it's a it's a board game. It's a computer board game. Okay. This is where we're going. Right? This is a weird feels like a weird way to get on. Um, And he got me that as a gift at a certain point. I might have been like Christmas last year. Cause that's a game that's got multiplayer too, right? I wonder if that game would stream up well, or if it's one, it probably would. It's probably one of those stream games that wouldn't, like if you played it against someone else. Make an adult sim and turn off aging and then never breed. I don't like kids. In, in real life and as in games as well, are you like Brad? Or you just don't like playing, worrying about the kids in the game. You watched an Armello stream yesterday? Was it fun to watch the stream? And were they playing with somebody else, or were they just playing it and streaming it? It seems like a cool game. I think I was just playing it, and I was playing it, like, the tutorial. And for some reason, I just wasn't in the mood for it, so I, I never... But it was a game I had my eye on for a long time. It's just I gotta, I think, get through it and learn it. The streamer was playing with someone else, I guess. I'm guessing you mean. Kids are the worst. Have your sim spayed or neutered to help control the kid population. Yeah, I, would, I need to go in before I would stream it and, and uh, change some of them. Or maybe not. Maybe, I was going to say change some of the mods. Because I think certain things happen, like, I like getting rid of the blur mods. So that, like, when people are getting, like, having a sexy time and they take their clothes off, you don't see the pixelation. But then to make it realistic, then you got to get, like, anatomical correct mods. And to get some of those, sometimes it's like they... They make it like an invisible penis pants or something so that when you go around town, just to be random people walking around town with their, their schlongs, like they're at the grocery store and they're just walking around with their dicks hanging out. Another inspection. Okay, that's fine. 
but <laughs> so I end up getting these mods on there and then I end up being like I don't like this anymore like I don't want it it's immersion breaking to walk around and probably if I did the right combination of mods I could avoid that problem but I think my game right now was immersion breaking because there's just too many people walking around with their Johnsons hanging out <laughs> they need to walk they need to walk out with their caca exactly Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Izzy Ramis says, Yo, your live streams are the best. Holy shit, man. I appreciate that so much. I feel like we could be best friends. If you think you might want to collab, just check out my channel and message me on Instagram. And parenthetical, parenthetical Instagram link on my channel. Holy shit, Izzy Ramis. Man, I feel like I've just made a, a true and meaningful friend. Thank you so much. That's so awesome, man. I feel like, you know, even though you've only left one post in my room, I feel like I've known you for years already. Like with this bond that we have, I'm, I'm sure, I mean, he's been around long enough to know he loves my stream. <laughs> What'd you try? What, he got timed out? What? <laughs> oh no. Well, I guess my friendship was short lived because of the tyranny because of the tyranny of of the regulators here on my channel. I have no control over them. <laughs> it's gone now. It's gone now. It was some overzealous chat Nazi went in there and got rid of my new, I, I had this new best friend and now he's, it's like he never existed. Is it Ramus? Remember the times we had together. Is it Ramus? I'm gonna. I'm just making that up, but that's how I feel in my soul. It's like I'm gonna. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. <laughs> A chatsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Okay. Here we go. It's a perfect, we're going to uh, gas up and then I'm going to park the truck where we're going to sleep and that's going to be, let me see, do that, fill up. This looks similar to the last one I stayed at that wouldn't let me just park where I wanted. Is a gamer? Our friendship never had a chance. We could have been so great together. <laughs> I think I'm getting a little bit loopy. <laughs> uh, oh, there are no long spaces over there. Okay, maybe I can just park in one of these slots here. I love your streams, but I'll beaver be a streamer. Only okay, I see. I see. See what you're saying. Hey, here we go. And press enter to rest. Ooh, it's the witching hour. 3 a.m. is when most of the ghosts come out, don't you know? <laughs> Maybe the next stream I'll do, like, October. It'll be October theme stream. But, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna call it a game for the night. I'm getting tired. And I'm still hungry. It's a... All... All the human needs are coming together right now. Except I don't need to use the bathroom because I did that before. But I'm, I'm sleepy and a little bit snacky. It's a dangerous combination. That's how I get loopy and end up singing an improv love ballad to my the two ships passing in the night. G-Law and Izzy Ramis. Strangers in the night. Na, 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 na. It's not three. <laughs> well, I sure would like to thank everyone for joining me in another action packed episode of Lawyer Plays Live American Truck Simulator. Yes, Law Logistics, ladies and gentlemen, developing my business. But I can't do it right now. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm running out of my rhythm for my Lawhawk logistics thing. So anyways, 
Let me look at chat a little bit. Um, <laughs> Zio Kim's like, I never get to do mod actions in a G-Law stream. It's true, there's, there's not, there's typically not a lot of moddable uh, activity happening in my streams. So, first off, because they're not that crowded to begin with. So it ends up being mostly people that get along and know each other, or, or the people that are here. So, it's not a lot of drama. Which is, I'm fine with no drama, but it's nice to have... It's nice to have people like Zio Kim in here who are gonna regulate shit. They're gonna step in, you know? Keith, you're tired. You can't type... Type right Mo. I hear you, man. I see it, too. The ghostly lot lizards. Night of the living handy. <laughs> uh, hungry sleepy smells like cabbage. <laughs> Fucking mess. But Brad, are you happy that I I played some American Truck Simulator? I even I originally had it titled uh, American Truck Simulator Live. Uh, colon Counter Programming Edition. But. Then I decided I would wait. I would. I, I was gonna. I laid down for a little while, and by the time I got up, CPG had already stopped streaming. So I was like, "Oh, I can get rid of the counter programming thing, and just do normal, do a normal stream." So yeah, Brad is extremely happy. All right, man. Yeah, I need to stream this game more because I enjoy it and I have fun every time I stream it. And you saw all those views I got tonight. This. This could be my secret. It's gonna make me bust out. Fuck family friendly. It's American Truck Simulator. That's what's gonna make me famous, baby. You barely ban people here. You just delete comments. Well, you know, like, to be honest, the guy that Zio Kim banned, I'm sure he was gone. I mean, he's probably spending, he's got a cut and paste thing and he's spending three seconds. He'll, he'll log into a chat, enter paste, hit send, and then move on to the next one. Um, so the fact that he got banned is probably going to have no practical impact on our, our experience whatsoever. <laughs> you don't get too many trolls. You'd like to time out Pokefan? Well, here's the thing. When Pokefan comes in here, he doesn't act trolly. I don't know if he still does somewhere else, but I have a feeling Pokefan from two years ago when we first met him and Pokefan possibly has slightly grown up a little bit because he he's not he's not irritating in the ways that he could be before. You know, like sometimes you get a little overbearing, and that really hasn't been an issue. So, is Stone Raven to, does he have an issue? I've never seen him act up. <laughs> it, oh, it's because if it's a Narcuck stream, then he's a then he's a problem. Let me see. He might have been a bot. Sure, absolutely he could have been. Hey, Lord Le Lord Josiah, welcome. <laughs> this is a nice, chill fish taco stream. That's right. We got to make a special additions to to my uh, to my to my stream, like to have some sort of fish taco, little fish taco videos I can play at special times, just for uh, for Zio Kim. She loves it when we talk about fish tacos. Loves it. And hey, look, it's Electric Quest. He's back. Nice chill fish taco stream. You also need tacos. Well, you know, if you're really bored tomorrow and you're doing something and you can have a stream on in the background and you want to talk, you want to hear some taco talk, that's about half of this stream was talking about fish tacos and other kinds of tacos. Brain tacos, head cheese tacos, or head meat. Anyways. Oh, uh, food rear. You're going to you just gonna have to go back and watch it later because so many amazing things happen. I went to way stations. Someone came in here. It was my best friend. I had a new best friend. Uh, it's a good thing Fooder wasn't here because it, it could have come down to some big confrontation because for a while I thought it was like my platonic soulmate had walked in here. I felt it's sort of this euphoria. But then Zeo Kim was like, bullshit. And she deleted his comment and banned him. soul is crushed now. He's back. <laughs> uh, Johnny, the alien Australian, comes back and has got to go off. Awesome. Alright, hey! Thanks, man. It was cool having you. It's cool having you in here. Uh, 
You've been sitting, you're listening to the entire stream playing Fortnite. Oh, cool, man. And I believe that because right when I'm wrapping up, you show up. That's a sign that I've been lurking a stream. Uh, is when someone wraps up and all of a sudden I'm like, Hey, thanks for the stream. <laughs> During wrap up, that means I've probably been there for a while, just doing other stuff. Have you considered the possibility that it was Food Arrear? Now, Brad, I, we all know Food Arrear likes driving around and making up while he's driving, making up fake accounts coming into my, my stream. But the, uh, the cut and paste generic self-promotion email is a little bit, I mean, that there's no flair to that. I feel like if Food Arrear is going to create a false identity, it, there's going to be some angle to it that makes it kind of either funny or, or, or irritating more than just a generic, you know, something generic like that. It'd be something that would really poke, like poke you right in the ribs type of irritation. Yep. But that's what we learned tonight. The food rear loves, he loves driving. And while he's driving, he's making fake, <laughs> making fake accounts. It's dangerous because you could, you know, it's like texting while driving. You could run into a ditch. You got to be careful. But sometimes it's worth the, the comedic effort is worth it. You know, Electric Quest dedicated worker. <laughs> or lurker, there you go. You start a Tuesday podcast, call it Taco. T oh, Nick, that's good. Taco Tuesdays. What do you think of that, Zio Kim? <laughs> Every Tuesday night, doing G Law for Taco Tuesdays. We have our we have our fill of live stream chat, plenty of talk of various types of. Tacos, fish, beef, brain, head meat, etc. No, see, that, that was the thing is, is uh, you do have flair, food or so I expect more. I expect more from you. Like, apples, apple was a stroke of genius. We'll just say, apple came in, was, he, he just was like briefly offensive. But in like a weird, not overly, not overly like, like a hammer type of thing, but just, just strategically offensive enough to get banned and, and to be, you know, whatever. It's like, it's, it's like artistic trolling. Not amusing really, but you know, I got no life and like to troll peeps. Food rear, you know, I'm joking, right? I could live stream me cooking. That would be fun. I, tri <laughs> I got triggered. Borderline, you know, strategically offensive. That's what that's what I'm calling it. Like for the person he was picking on, it was not it was not fun. You know, everyone else is just kind of sort of irritated. I should do a Pokemon Go stream. No, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Especially if you like the area I live in. I'd be afraid to play Pokemon Go. Pretty sure I'd end up getting like stabbed by MS-13 or some shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Game Boy. I don't know who you're joking. Apple's coming back. <laughs> oh shit! No, if we could it be like Apple 2.0, <laughs> the ghost of Steve Jobs. One hundred thousand dislikes. Oh no. Food career is making real industry out of this. Out of this driving and making alternate personalities thing. Get ready, mofos. Shit. Um, but I just, I, I, you know what? I am tired. I just realized I am really tired. <laughs> so I'm going to look for a, should I do a raid? We got enough people in here that if I find, if I found a, a smallish channel like myself, they might appreciate my, my sloppy seconds. Uh, or, you know what? Let me see. Mmm. All right. I'm trying to decide now. Are we going to put it up? I'm going to put it up to, uh, to community feedback. Two people who I like to raid are streaming right now. We got Kink playing Battle Royale Fortnite World. And we got uh, Team Koopa Gaming, who's also one of my favorites. And they're playing Seven Days to Die with Yantu and some other folks. 
Uh, Keith, Keith Rosga is streaming. Reckless Ways. Am I not? Am I, maybe I'm subscribed to him somewhere else. He's not showing up on here. But I don't have Reckless Ways on my list. But I tend... Reckless Ways, isn't he kind of a big, bigger channel? I go for the smaller ones. Uh, Koopa's got seven people watching and Kink has eight people watching. Team Koopa Gaming. He's cool. I like Team Koop. He, he's, he's, uh, it's actually, it's a couple guys, and I like them a lot. I think they're real chill. And J Yantu is, is, uh, is, okay, so I think we're leaning towards Team Koopa Gaming. Um, we're gonna go that way. I like Kink too, and I haven't raided him in a while either, but let's see. All right. So let me set you guys up. Thanks again for hanging out. My random, my random bonus American Truck Simulator stream by popular demand, AKA Brad, representing the populace. But it does seem to draw a crowd. People love me role playing about them lot lizards. The apple says Koopa too. <laughs> All right, food rear. Um, yeah, if for whatever reason I don't make it back before uh, Christmas and people vote for those of you who celebrate Christmas, happy holidays, etc. I'm, there's a good chance I'll still stream on Thursday, but um, there are certain factors at play that might. Because we're going, I know we're going back to my dad's this weekend for Christmas. So there are certain factors about like the when of things that might impact my ability to stream. Uh, what do you say? Just stop? Oh, Apple. The Apple thing. I think he's just kidding, Keith. I think he's just kidding. I don't think he was actually Apple. Just score it out. Uh, so, do, 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 do. We're going to do a little hashtag Lawhawk raid. Like this. Are we having actual drama on my channel right now? We don't need, there is no need for drama in here. All right? There's no need for drama. Now somebody came in, ripped into, ripped into Keith and that was not fun for him. So, you know, that's not cool, but. Well, I don't even really understand what's happening right now, but I think we need to de-escalate, de-escalate. That's, that's the cry of the Gaming Lawyer channel. Drama is relatively rare on my channel. Uh, but you know, happens happens on occasion. All right, happy holidays, guys. There it is. I like that Nick with the scales and that stuff. Here's the link. It's a perfect time for a raid. Gonna evac, shut it down, and uh, there we go. That is our Team Koopa Gaming Seven Days to to Die. And uh, thanks everybody for being here. Have a great night, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.